Hello, hello guys, my name is Kai and welcome to the first episode of the series. As you all may know, I'm not the smartest or the most efficient player and I don't know a lot of things about this game. But one thing I know is that I want to be a maxed player. I have more than 4000 hours played on this account and I really enjoy making videos so I've decided it's time to make a Road to Max series. As you can see, I already have kinda high stats so today is the day I really want to start to max my account. In this series you can count with a lot of bossing, skilling and working towards my elite diary completions. And for this first episode I have three goals. First I want to get my quest cape again and for that I need to complete the new quest that came out, Beneath Curse Sands, Land of the Goblins and Temple of the Eye. Then I want to get 90 base stats, I think I will start with Herblore and Prayer. And finally, I want to get 99 crafting. I already have banked the 90 prayer and I also have banked a lot of molten glass to get 99 crafting. As you can see, I have 97 right now. So yeah, those are the goals for the first episodes. And with no further ado, let's get it. And there it is, the first quest complete, Land of the Goblins. Let's go to the next one, which is the Temple of the Eye quest. And that's another quest complete, Temple of the Eye. This minigame is really cool. I think we will spend a lot of time on this minigame because it's really fun and we have to get our runecrafting up. So yeah, one quest to go to get our quest cap again. Oh, just a quick note, this looks really really amazing, I really like this. Bro, this pyramid looks awesome. Bro, this looks amazing. Well, I really don't know if this is right or wrong, but let's see. Yes, I don't know how, but... I'm so happy, bro. This puzzle is super difficult, man. I heard this boss is kinda hard. But let's try it and see for ourselves. I actually thought this would be more difficult. So yeah, it's done, bro. And that is quest complete. We got access to the Thumbs of a Masked, which, which are the Rage 3. And we got a pretty nice weapon. This is amazing to kill the Calphite Queen and Calphites overall. I'm pretty happy. No more quests and we got access to our quest cape again doing the emotes right here in front of the wise old man house let's see it i don't know if i like the tiara but i'm really really happy now the next goal is to get 90 base stats so let's go I'm starting with Herblore and I have 88 right now, so two levels to go. And yes, I'm cleaning herbs. Throughout the series you'll learn that I'm a cheap ass and I'm always trying to do the cheapest methods. I will need to clean 42,000 herbs to get level 90. And there it is, 89 Herblore, 36,000 herbs to go. <laughs> and here it is, finally the big 90. Now next I want to get 90 prayer and I already have all the insult heads in my bank so I'll be summoning insult heads and yeah let's get it done but first let me just clean these last herbs and sell them and see how much money we make okay so we have a pretty healthy 26 million on the bank let's change our spellbook and get this done this method is pretty straightforward you just swap your spellbook to the Arches one and reanimate the Ensel head you have. And you get 1k for each kill, so it's pretty good. And it's also AFK, so I love it. And that's the first prayer level, level 78. We still have a lot of levels to go. So 12 levels to level 90. And now in the end of each trip, I teleport to a bank, get the Ensel heads again, teleport to my house and teleport to the Fairy Ring CIS which takes me right here and go back there again level 80 coming in i'm enjoying this so much this is super afk and the stats are looking pretty good here it is level 85 still going strong 
I believe we cannot finish the Elite Diary from the desert. Let's see. Here it is. Restore at least 85 prayer points at the altar in Sofnam. I will not finish this right now, but I'm planning to finish all the Elite Diaries, of course. And I wrote on my sidebar the skill goals that I still need for each Elite Diary. So, 85 prayer, we can check it out. And 90 air blower also. So we need 91 rune crafting and 95 slayer but yeah let's continue 88 prayer 89 and finally 90 prayer beautiful i never had my prayer level so high so this feels very good i'm not gonna lie now i think i'm going to do some slayer because 89 just don't feel right and i'm sure we can slay dark beasts at level 90 yeah, Dark Beast level 90, 91 Cerberus, Thermi, and 96 to Hydra, so we have to train Slayer, of course. Take the last of my heads, brother, I don't need him. This guy was really nice to me. Here you go, bro. I know there are not many, but here you go, brother. Good luck, bro. Okay, so I have a Black Demon's task, and of course I'm doing... My task on the Demonic Gorillas, though I'm not very experienced at it, but at least I want to get that chance of a Zenite, so yeah. I don't know how much time this will take, but I really want that chance of a drop. I just completed an Elite Combat task. I don't know what it is, but I will put it on a screen right now. Yeah, it's this. Look at this nice drop. Two Renar Seeds, 118k. Nice. Look at this drop, almost 300k from two magic seeds. Very nice, this, these guys are really, really profitable. Oh, this is here, 300 capas, né? 150. And that's the last one. We did almost 85k experience in Slayer, this was really really good, but unfortunately we didn't get any Zenites, but that's okay. If you have any Black Demon task, please do it here, because this is really really profitable, and you have a chance of dropping a Zenite, so it's really good. And we made 4,650k, this was really 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 good, man. And we got two Ballista Limbs, they are 1 in 500 and a Zenite is 1 in 300. So we could have two Zenites, but it's RNG in the end of the day, so. I just teleported to Shallow Village and I don't know what's going on. I'm tiny, I'm flying. Uh, my internet is not very good. I don't know this place, like, is this new? I never noticed this. Was this ladder always here? I don't know. Duradetti give us a good Slayer task. Okay, okay, nice. Come on, man, imbue the heart. I wish. And it's done. 53,000 experience. I actually extended this one because they give a lot of money. Look at this. Almost one and a half million. Black dragons. That's a KBD task, of course. Okay, let's see, so if I die on my way to the KBD lair, I lose all these shits and my Slayer helmet, so I have to be careful. Okay, PKers, let's go. Run. First kill, let's see. A little bit of nothing. Man, I forgot KBD can poison you. So I think I have to go back. Yep. And that's done. A really easy task. And the loot will be on the screen right now. Really good Slayer task. I never did Lizardman Shaman, so this will be my first time. I really thought this was the Warhammer for a second, but nope. Dragon Mad Helm, keep dreaming. Unfortunately, didn't get any luck on the Warhammer. But this task was profitable, 1 million. Duradel give us a good task, man. Aviancies. I mean, I could do Kriara. But that task takes a very long time. So I think I'm going to cancel it. And task cancelled. Please, bro, give us a good one. 
Abyssal demons, nice. I love doing sire, so let's go. And look what's on the floor. An unsire, beautiful. Only 14 kills in. Nice. And let's see what we get. Put that right there. And that's a bludgeon piece. <laughs> a new one, nice. I believe I have one on the bank. Let's check. Let's see, let's see. There it is. I don't know if we can put it together right now. No, we can. We need a three pieces to create a bludgeon. So let's continue. Let's go, please hit. Don't turn off your prayer. And there it is. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> That's an unsire. Bro. Another unsire. That's amazing. I really hope I get the third bludgeon piece or the pet. The pet will be just amazing. But yeah, let's see. Come on. Give us a good thing, please. No whips. No daggers. Please. Abyssal heads. Okay, that's a new thing for the collection log. I really want to have all those layer helmets, so yeah, that's nice, I guess. Well, I just have six charges left on my arc lights, and I just have two ancient shards, so I have to get more. It's a good time to kill Scatizo, so I will be killing Scatizo to get my charges back. So yeah, let's go. Well, no more arc light charges. I have to kill him with a whip. Easy. Bro, this animation is so long. What? No way! Bro! No way! <laughs> I just got the pets! Man, I'm always unlucky on the pets, but... <laughs> Skotos at 11kc... Man, it looks so good. I have to insure him, of course. Yes, take all my money. I lost my Chinchompa pet once, so I really don't want to lose this one. And it's insured. Nice. Arc light charged. I still have two more totems, so two more Skatizos. And that's a long ass animation. Grimy Torstall and a cool scroll. Let's do it. Look at the little guy. He has a really cool glow also. Casket? Yes. Okay, so one more kill and I will open all the caskets. Longest animations. A shield left off. A cool scroll elite and a heart also. That's a strange drop, I think. And finally, that's the final casket. I think I have four hearts and two elites to open. Alright, let's see the elites first. Trash. Come on. Oh, a master clue. Nice. Now the art clues. Nothing special. More alcohols. Come on, man. Okay, purple sweets. The last one. Yep, not very good. But at least we got a master clue. So let's do it. Come on, come on. This must be the casket. Yes. Cascades. Let's open it. Please give us something good. 200k. Okay. Man, I, I'm so lucky on the Ensires. I got three on this Slayer task. So good, man. I really hope I get something good. Like the third bludgeon piece or the pets. Receiving two pets on this video would be just amazing. Let's see. Let's just check the collection log first. I need... The pets, the third bludgeon piece, and the dagger, so I have to get one of these three. Let's see. Please, RNG gods, help us. Okay. And that's the dagger. It's a new thing, so... Yeah, it's good. Also, it's profit, so... I'm happy. And that is 90 Slayer. That's the milestone we wanted. Feels so good, man. Very nice. 60 to go. And that's the last one. We finally finished this task. This task is so long, man. 
but we got 151k experience on Slayer, so it's really, really good. And we made a huge profit, we got 11 million and 700k. I really enjoy this task and I advise you to do it. And if you want to try the Sire for the first time, I have a guide on it. I will link it in the description, feel free to watch it, guys. Let's see our Slayer tab, put everything in. And we have 17 millions made in just one Slayer level. Slayer is a gold mine. you can make so much money. And now we have to take care of this molten glass. We have to get 99 crafting, so the next clip will be me getting 99 crafting. Here it comes, 99 crafting in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> and there it is, 99 crafting, finally. I love this plugin, everybody's dancing. It's called Dance Party and every time you get a level, everybody starts to dance. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you so much guys, you're awesome. Wow 99 crafting so fucking huge. <laughs> Bro, I love the Ancestrals, this looks so cool man. I really love this set. It's 200 mil right now, so yeah I can't afford it, but thank you Tropa. Okay, so we achieved our 99 crafting, so let's get the cape. Yes sir, give us the cape please. Let's equip it. Beautiful. And I'm going to put my cape right here on this rack, because it gives the best teleports to a bank. Let's put it right here. And let's check it. Teleport. Nice. Okay, I have one last thing to do before I end the episode. Which is getting my Red Slayer helmet. If you remember, we dropped the Abyssal Demon head. So, let's go. Here. Where is it? Here it is. Unholy helmet. Let's unlock it, 1000 points, and there you go. Combine the Abyssal Head with the Slayer Helmet, yes sir, and there it is. Let's just imbue it, real quick. Slayer Helmet imbued, and we just got the red Slayer Helmet. Beautiful. Hello, hello guys, welcome back. So the quality in terms of image of the last video was not the best, but I changed some settings and I hope this video gets a better quality than the last one. If you see some improvements, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, let's get to business. We still have to continue to work on our 90 base stats and we still have runecraft, construction and mining. As you can see, we already have 90 base stats on all of our skills except those ones. So we will start with runecraft and for that we will try the Guardians of the Rift minigame. And I want basically three things from this minigame. First, I want to get the full outfit. Then I want to get the needle. And finally, I want to get 85 runecraft to use the needle on my pouches to create the colossal pouch. So, with no more further ado, let's explore this new minigame and have fun. Let's go. There it is, level 77. This is an amazing level to get because I think we will get 99 runecrafting uh, making blood runes, so this is huge for the account. Okay, so that's 50 games completed, let's see our loot, and I really hope to get the needle right now, <laughs> or enough pearls to get one piece of the set. Okay, got the pet out for good luck, sometimes I forgot I have it, <laughs> so let's see what we get. Yes! Abyssal Needle! Yes! Man, we got so lucky on this one. This outfit is so expensive. For the hats, 400 pearls. The robes are 350 each and the boots, 250. We have 167, so we still have a long way to go. Let's see how much money we made from the rewards. 600k. 
We made a lot, a lot more, but we banked the runes, so... Level 80, coming in. <laughs> With this minigame is so much easier and so much fun also. I didn't knew this, but you can actually click shift to get the essence out, out of the rune pouch faster instead of right clicking. It's so much better, man. It saves a lot of time. So I didn't knew this, but for example, if you have uh, 50 elemental energy and 100 catalytic energy, you just have 50 rewards. You have to have the same number on each of them. I didn't knew this, but now I know. So let's see what we get. And we got 847k, obviously we made more, but uh, we banked the runes throughout the games. Because we have a bank deposit inside the game. But yeah, that's a pretty good profit, I think. And unfortunately, we didn't get enough pearls to get the hat. I really want the hat because it's the I think it's the most good looking piece of the set. So I think we will make a couple of games and see if we can get more. Okay, managed to get the rest of the pearls and we will get the hats finally. And there it is. Let's equip it. Beautiful. <laughs> now I'm ready to get 85 runecraft. Oh my god, this will be a grind. I just remembered I already have the requirements to finish the Elite Diary from Varrock. Oops. I don't know why, but this always happens. So I can erase 77 Runecraft and 78 also. So yeah, let's finish this. And that's done. One to go. And you mix the Torstal with this and there it is. The Elite Diary from Varrock. I thought the armor will disappear, but nope, okay. And we will get more ores while mining, up to Runite, I believe, and more stuff from Zaf, so it's pretty good. And now the armor disappeared. Bro, I don't know why they made this armor so big, but okay. Let's just put this lamp on her blower, of course. Because now we can train Runecraft. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, <laughs> the armor is fucking big, but the most slippers make the outfit. So, I like this. Pearls. Ooh. Catholic Talisman. Basically, with this talisman, we can enter in all altars, except the elemental ones, which are the fire, earth, water, and air. Yeah. Combine it with a gold tiara and we create a catalytic tiara. And now we can enter in all rune crafting altars, except the elemental ones, of course. So, yeah, it's a pretty little nice thing to have. Level 82 coming in. No way! No way! <laughs> no way! We just got another pet. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we just got this pet. Bro. <laughs> no way. What the fuck, bro? Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, bro. Thank you, guys. Look at the dude. <laughs> I mean... He must be the ugliest pet ever, but I think he's cute. I like him. I don't know how, but we're getting really, really lucky. Now we have two pets insured. I have another two, but they are skilling pets. But yeah, I really, really like this pet. He's so ugly that I, that I like him. I don't know why. <laughs> and level 83. 84. And level 85. Finally 85, man. <laughs> 
This was a grind, I'm not gonna lie. Oi. And now with 85, we can finally get our Colossal Pouch. Take the Abyssal Needle out of the bank and use it on our Rune Pouches. And we'll create the Colossal Pouch. Here it is. <laughs> I just love this item. It looks really, really cool. I don't know why. But yeah, here it is, the Colossal Pouch. We have a lot of rewards to get. We have 277. So I really hope I get lucky and get the rest of the pearls to finish my outfits. And getting the lantern will be amazing also because it has a lot of good effects that we can use on this minigame. For example, with Redwoods, the pouches will never degrade and you get more points also, I think. So it's really, really good, but the drop rate is 1 in 700, so yeah, kind of hard. Wow, we didn't get anything. <sighs> That's unlucky. Let's see if we can get anything on these pouches. Some runes. More runes. Oh, runes. Bro, shield left half. What the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, that's a new one. Tarnished Locket. I think we can transform this into the Amulet of, of the Eye, which gives us infinite teleports to here. And Pure Essence, Runes, and more Runes. And that's the bottom and the top. And we didn't get enough pearls to get the boots, unfortunately. I mean... I think the pearls are so difficult to get. They are so inconsistent on the rewards. But yeah, we still have to get some some pearls to get the boots and get the full outfit. But let's see. Yeah, we, we look kind of decent. I like this. And from 277 rewards, we got 2.5 millions. Not bad at all. So we need to trade here the tarnished lockets. And we get the amulet of the eye. And now we have infinite teleports to the minigame. Nice. We have finally enough pearls to buy the boots. Buy one. And finally we have the full outfit. I really wanted all the pieces because each piece of the outfit gives you 10% more runes when you craft them. But if you have the full outfit, it gives a 60% boost. So it's an absolutely crucial outfit if you want to make profits or go to 99. And we made so much profit out of this minigame. Look at this. 20 million. We started with 8 million, if I'm not mistaken. So, this is amazing to get runes and get profit. And now I have to get 93 agility because I want to get 90 rune craft. And for that, I will be using the true blood altar. And for that, I will be using the fastest route, which I need 93 agility to get there super fast. So, let's get it. And there it is, level 93 agility, finally. I think I will stay here and try to get the rest of the backpacks. I already have the skeletal one and I really want the Crook Jr. and the Prince, the last one. We already have 1117 and we need 2000, so <laughs> let's get to work. And finally, there it is, 2000 laps. Let's see our backpacks. Let me just... Unequip the Grigri, transform, the Crook Jr. one, let's see, <laughs> I really like this one, the swords look really really cool, look at him, <laughs> and the other one, the princely one, princely monkey, another thing on a collection log, yeah this one is, is cool but I prefer the Craig Jr. one. Let's just see the collection log. Monkey backpacks. And we have all of them. Nice. Maybe one day we will complete all of these. Who knows. And today came an update and I, wa <laughs> I was waiting for this update for so long, man. So basically, you can reclaim the pets that you lost. So basically in the past, if you didn't insure a pet and lost him, you lost the pet forever, but today that changes. Today we can get our pets that we lost and didn't ensure, of course. So my Chinchopa pet must be here. And it is! 
And it is here, bro. Oh, man. This is my favorite pet, and I lost it. And I lost her. And here it is, my Chinchompa, man. I can't believe this. This was my first pet, so... I'm really happy to have it back, man. I really am. Let's see her on the floor. <laughs> Look at her, bro. <laughs> man. One day I will get the, um, the golden one. I think you can metamorphose it. And it's uh, like uh, 1 in 10k uh, chance to, to get the golden one. So I have to metamorphose a lot of times. But... I think I'm sticking with the uh, red chinchompas because I got it there. And we are really close to level 94 agility and we are in Ardogan, so let's go to the best rooftop in the game. And there it is, level 94 agility. Beautiful level. I never had the agility so high, so I'm pretty happy. And we did a lot of things on this episode, mainly all uh, rune crafting but i don't want to make the episode super long but if you like the episodes longer please let me know in the comments below and we still have to get 90 rune crafts construction and mining so i will leave that for the next episode hello everybody welcome to yet another episode and as you can see we are using the route to get to the true blood altar the plan is to get 90 rune craft there and i think we can go through here and we can't. <laughs> Apparently we have to clear the other side first. So let's go around. Let's just clear this rubble. And now we have a shortcut. Nice. It's the first time I will craft runes here. So I have to study the best. And I didn't bring a tiara. <laughs> uh, now a really cool thing you can do with your hat of the eye. You can combine it with your tiara. The catalytic or the elemental one. And... Now they are combined and it's the same thing as using a tiara. And now that the path is cleared, we can go through it. And it's super fast. I must say, this is the most good looking altar. I, I think it's the best one, really. I'm still studying the fastest route there, but we have a Carol's teleport in our POH. Yeah, I will try this for a couple of times and see if this is the fastest route or not. So I searched on YouTube and actually there's a faster route to do this method. I saw it on a Saibay video, I will link it in the description. So basically, you go to the Fairy Ring DLS and it takes you... <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> and it takes you right here on the catacombs. And actually, this route is much more faster. Go here. And then it takes you right here. And we don't need to do that uh, strange route. And here we are again. This path is much more faster. You can also configure a lot of things with rune lights. Uh, for example, the direct teleports with your skilling cape to empty or fill your rune pouch with a click. You can configure it to empty or fill as you want. You can also take the essence out of your bank and fill your pouch uh, without closing the bank, which is awesome. You can go to your rune light configurations and explore the menu entry swapper. There are a lot of quality of life features there that can help you. And now I think we will mine Dale Essence because it gives 50% more XP than Pure Essence. So we will use it. I just received a really good feedback. Um, I always played on resizable mode, but the chat box was too tiny and the inventory also. So now I think I fixed it and everything is bigger. Thank you so much Juiced for your feedback. It's very much appreciated, man. And there it is, 50,000 Dale Dessen shards. I don't know if this is enough, but I'm kind of tired of being here. So yeah, let's let's go. Just need to convert the char shards right here. And we need to have the outfit on and convert all the shards. And they go straight to the bank. Nice. Now that we have our Dale Dessens, I think we will do 1k a trip. Um, we were doing like 500 XP each, so this will be faster and much, much better also. Okay, much better XP drops. So let's see what we get. And we got 1k a trip. Okay, it, it could be better, but yeah, okay, okay, we can do it. 
and I want to see how much money and how much blood runes we can get. So I will sell all my blood runes that I have on my bank. 20,000, okay. So this ones that I had on my bank will sell for 7 million and 600k. And now we don't have any on the bank, so we can start. And I want to apologize, guys, uh, for the time that I'm taking to release this video. But I'm doing a lot of bandos with my team. And when you got to spend time with the homies, you got to spend time with the homies. So we're doing bandos and yeah, apologize for that, guys. But yeah, let's continue with the runecraft. Ooh, 30 there. Wow. And we are back to runecraft. I never thought this grind will take so much time but yeah it's it, it's slow <laughs> it's a slow process but yeah there you go level 86 <laughs> very nice we still have four levels to go so we need to keep grinding but we are making a lot of money in the process we already made almost 9 million this is a really slow process but you make a lot of profit so i'm enjoying it Level 87 coming in, we need 413k for the next level, so we need to do 413 trips. And we already made 64,000 blood runes, <laughs> really really nice. And for the total profit of 21, 22 million actually. And I didn't calculate it this correctly, but we need a lot more Dale Descents. I think we need like uh, 70, 70k more. So we need to get more. Yeah, I was doing a mistake. I was not using this item, which is the blood essence. Basically, what this item does is you have a 50% more chance of crafting a blood rune per essence. So it's awesome to get more profit. They cost around 240k and we can make 342k according to the wiki. So approximately it's a 100k profit per blood essence. I think it's a pretty good profit long run. I should have been using this since the beginning, but you are always learning on this game. So I will be using this from now on. Let's see the blood essence in action. And we made 135 blood runes. We were making like 100, so that's pretty good. Whoa, actually we made more runes this time. <laughs> I really like to have the teleport cape on my inventory because I really like to be AFK and I don't want to click F keys. So I, I, yeah, I'm sacrificing one inventory spot to have a direct teleport. Oh, level 87. We are here for so long that we got a level from this. Okay, so now we have more than enough Dale Lesson shards. We have 92,000 almost. So now we can go for 90 rune crafting. We are taking too much time on this so let's go and that is level 88 guys look at this beautiful stack 100k blood runes i never had so many so that's pretty nice level 89 and the moment we've been waiting for 90 runecraft finally man finally this took too much time i never thought this grind will take so much time but it's finally done when I choose to do a grind, I have to stick to the end, it's just the way I like to play. I'm really really proud with what we have accomplished, so <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy. I'm really happy we are finally free from Runecraft. And we got 245,000 runes, that's just insane, that's insane. And for the total of almost 90 million. <laughs> That's a really, really good amount. And now we can train some Bible skills, which was my plan since the beginning. Okay, I think I will bank like um, maybe, yeah, 20k, 20k runes. And let's sell the rest of them. 366, seems a good amount. And let's wait for them to sell. Okay, they already sold and we got a total of 81 million, nice. And with the 31 million we have on a bank, we have a total of 112 millions. Really, really awesome. And now, because I have a lot of money, at least for me, it's a lot of money. I want to get the Anguish Ornament Kit. It's one of my favorite ornament kits and I really want to have it now that I have the money to spend. Let's use it on the amulet. And now we have the Anguish Ornament Kit. I think it looks amazing. It's one of my favorite ornament kits for sure. Okay, now to get 90 construction, we have to build 5,000 and approximately 400 mounted mythical capes in our POH. 
Each one utilizes 3 tick planks, so we need a total of 16,200 tick planks. And we also have to get 90 mining, so as you wait for the planks to buy, let's get this done. Level 88. So I already have enough unidentified minerals to get my expert mining gloves. I have the superior ones. I think I dropped the, the, the normal ones, the, the yellow ones, this ones. So let's buy them for 60 unidentified minerals. There it is. And now I think we can combine both of them using... No, okay, we can. We have to talk with Bellona. Can you combine my mining gloves, please? This will cost 60 unidentified minerals. Okay, let's combine them. And there it is, the expert mining gloves. You have to be level 70 to acquire this ones, and it will cost like 240 unidentified minerals in total. And what these gloves do is basically you have a chance that the rock you're mining does not deplete, so you can continue mining it. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good upgrade for my mining gear. That's level 90. 91. And finally, level 92, a really beautiful level. We are officially halfway to 99. Now I can mine here amethysts. The plan was just to get level 90, but I got level 92. So now we can AFK amethysts whenever we want, which is awesome. I think I have to do a diary. Yep, I have to talk to her first. I have to do the Elite Falador diary. I think I have the requirements. Let's see, let's see. I'm pretty sure I can do this already. Okay, craft 252 air runes and purchase a white two-handed sword from Sir Vivian. So to purchase a white two-handed sword from Sir Vivian, you have to have some Black Knight KC and there's a pretty fast way to see it, to check it. You just go to the wanted quest and you see the KC. Now I have 101 and I need 1300 KC. So let's get this done. I'm gonna put the cannon right here. Let's set this up. <laughs> I don't even know how to set this up. Okay, the base first, of course. Yeah, let's AFK and I see you when this is done. Yeah, it's done. Not gonna lie, this was super AFK. And 1300 KC. We can now finish the diary. Please bro, give us the sword. Not give us, because we actually need to buy it. And there it is, the task completed. So now we just need to craft 252 air runes. So let's do that. At this point, I really think I'm a professional rune crafter because I craft so many blood runes, bro. But yeah, that's the task done. And let's go to Falador to get our reward. Thank you, Cerebro. We got a really cool shield. With this shield, you can restore 100% prayer uh, one time a day, if I'm not mistaken. Also, the tree patch here in Falador will not get diseased. That's awesome, but we already have 99 farming, so... But yeah, the main thing we wanted was to be able to mine amethysts and be AFK while training mining. Oh, and we got a 50,000 experience lamp, which we will use on mining. Because it's a really, really slow skill, I realize that. And I don't enjoy it that much. So, yeah. It's time to use all these planks to get 90 construction, because we are still on a mission to get 90 base stats and construction is next. We need five levels, we have 95, so let's um, click insanely for the next, like, hours. I'm really, really sorry about that, guys. I don't know what was that, but look at this. Level 90, construction, finally. This is a huge milestone for the account because now we are officially 90 base stats. <laughs> well, this episode is coming into an end. We got 90 runecraft. 92 mining that one was tough not gonna lie and we got finally 90 construction so i'm really really happy with the outcome and apologize this episode didn't come sooner but it's summer in my country right now and i'm just enjoying life hanging out with my friends 
But for the next episodes, I'm planning to get my Elite Diaries done. And I can erase this one right now because we finished this one on this episode. So yeah, I'm planning to get my Diary Cape on the next episodes. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. And I hope I see you in the next one. The Wilderness. A large and dangerous wasteland that makes up nearly the entirety of Northeastern Gilmore. Filled with monsters and players ready to take your soul. And today, I'm stepping foot on it. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Max Main series. As I said in the end of the last episode, I'm on a mission to get my achievement diary cape. And today, we'll be adventuring into the wilderness. I still have two tasks to complete from the Wilderness Diary. First, I need to kill Callisto, Venenaris and Verion. I think I will kill them 100 times each because I don't really have much experience on Wilderness bosses and I think it will be a great challenge for me. And the last task is to steal from the Rogue's Chest on the Rogue's Castle, so it's a pretty easy one. And as you can see, I'm rocking the full Proslight with the Vigorous Chain Mace and the first target will be Callisto, so I'm very excited. Let's go. I'm always using the Anacarl teleport in my POH, which teleports me here, near the Demonic Ruins. And I will not use this safe spot. I think this one is much more dangerous, so I will be using the West one. I already have the Tile Marker set up, so let's start to kill this big bear. So this is a pretty easy safe spot, don't get hit. I just have to click the right tiles on the right moment and the guy will be stuck. He's a little dumb. Okay, after this one, the fourth one. He starts to move, go to the fifth one, and then quickly to the sixth one. And he's stuck. You dumb beast. And now we just have to kill him, yeah? And let me change real quick to stab because he's really tanky and he's, he's weak to stab. Wow, this took a while. He's really, really tanky. That's the first kill, but I have to go back real quick because I forgot an anti-poison. Okay, let's go for the second KC. Callisto always falling for the same trick. And there's the second KC. 10 KC. And we're a Callisto adept. I don't know why I didn't bring the defender since the beginning because the stab bonus goes way up. If I bring it, it's much better. And if I die, I will not lose it. I will be risking 200k plus the ether. So 20 kills. We're a Callisto veteran. Bro, look at this. Dragon pickaxe on 35kc, so lucky man, let's pick this up and let's teleport out, man so so lucky, I wasn't expecting that, and the price went way up, it's 7 million now, 50kc, we're officially on the high scores, 80kc, and finally 100kc on Callisto, he sometimes drops a lot of supplies, so sometimes I was able to get like 35-40kc a trip, and I think I got pretty lucky because I didn't saw PKers here, so that was awesome. For the first time killing him, I think it was okay. He's really, really tanky, but from 100 Callisto, we got 12 million, so I'm really, really happy. Now, let's go and kill Vedion. She's in a multi area, so I know I'm going to get gangbanged, but let's go for it. Okay, the tile markers are all set up. Let's start. I just watched a couple of guides, and I think the lure is pretty straightforward, but I don't want to mess the lure. I think it's like this, yeah, Ooh. hit once, go to the second, hit twice, and go to the first. And this tile right here is the tile where I can teleport out, and when a PKR ops and I'm not here, I can say bye bye, because he can teleblock me and I'm pretty much fucked. And I fucked the lure. Fuck. And there it is. First KC at Verion, and the second stage of the achievement diary is complete. Okay, this second fight was a lot smoother. And as always, I rushed here and didn't gear up like I should. I should be using this cape since the beginning because it gives crush bonus and Verion is weak to that. Yep, always messing up the lure. Ooh, dragon bones. 200k. 10 KC. And that's an elite. Let's do it. Casket. Let's see, let's see. Sandfuse Serum, almost 400k. Really nice drop. 20k soon. And no PKers so far. No way. No way, bro. Another one. 
Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god, bro. What? That's so lucky, man. Another pickaxe at 30kc. Ah, it feels good, bro. And let's put it here for 7 million and see if it sells. <sighs> okay. Okay. Level 94 attack here in Verion. Oh my god, I just fucked up the lore. No, no. Surprise, no. motherfucker. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. And there's another one. Gang. Bang. GG. Yeah, I'm not risking my proselyte anymore. So I will use um, monk robes. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! No, sir. Not today. Ah, that was a close one. 50kc with 120k of Oakmanks. And no PKers in this world. It's strange because it's the world 303. Oh, no, no. Bro, I had to talk too soon. <laughs> GG. That part of the wilderness is multi, so it's really, really tough to survive, but yeah, it's okay. And with this kill, we are at 80kc, 20 to go, 90kc, nope, too slow, 700k drop, worth of Remy Grenars, Grammy, and that's it, we did it, 100kc at Vedian. Hey, that wasn't so bad, I died like 4 or 5 times, but... It was okay. And for the total loot, we got 12 million. It only appears 99. I don't know why, but we got 12 million. Now let's go to the last boss, which is Venonatis. I will buy the crossbow because you kill Venonatis with ranged and the crossbow is best in slot. So, and that's my final offer. Let's go, let's go. From the tree, this will be the safest one because the area is all 27 wilderness. So it's easy to teleport out. <laughs> wow, great start. So... Nope. It's already messed up. Yeah. Nope. Okay, now. Okay. Nope. 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 For oh, this man. No, <laughs> credit. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, I just have to box a dragon now and equip the bow. <laughs> this is fun. Bye. See you, bros. The survival rate here is much, much higher than the other bosses. Okay, let's try this again. Uh... I did it? Nope. Okay, I just got the task done, but the kill was awful. Out of the safe spot. I'm still struggling with the safe spot, but I will do it. I know I can do it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ah, bro, no. Yes? Nope. No! I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't. 2kc. Without the safe spot. You know what? 3kc without the safe spot. Yo, I did it. I actually did it, man. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, man. No. Okay, man. I give up. Thanks a lot. It's all yours. Okay, I got it now. It's all about the ticks. You can't lose any. You have to be tick perfect. Ah, Finally, I got it. Ten KC and we are a Venonata Zedep. Twenty KC. Hey, just a quick note. I tried for the first time the Thumbs of a Masket, and I must say, it's a great piece of content. I had so much fun with my friends. I think it's a great way to start and try to do raids. I don't have that much experience, and I had a blast doing it, so I advise you to try it. And my favorite boss was Aka. This was chaotic, and I don't know how, but I survived that. Let's see it again. It was so cool, all of the rooms, and I plan to do it a lot more, but for now, let's continue with the series.
there's a really cool plugin from Runelight that you can use. It's called Wilderness Multi Lines. And with this, you can see the multi area. Here is multi, and here it's singles. So it's a pretty useful tool you can use. 50 KC, we are on the high scores. Yo, we just got a treasurer's ring. Not bad, 300k, 360. It's a collection log item, so I'm happy. ADKC. Yes! <laughs> Yo, we dropped these Onyx Bolt tips exactly the moment that PKer logged in, so... Uh, we didn't lost almost 500k. Got TV again, but the moment you run to the Green Dragons, most of them give up. Let's finish this. We are almost there. And there it is, 100kc at Venenatis. From all the bosses, I think this one was the one that I liked the most, because it was great learning this safe spot. And we still need to complete one last task, which is still from the rogue's chest on the rogue's castle. So let's get it done. Okay, easy one. Thank you, sir. And yeah, let's use this lamp on dun, 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 dun. construction because it's expensive as fuck. There it is, 50,000 XP. And now with this sword, we have unlimited teleports to the Fountain of Rune. Also, we have free entry in the resource area and all the dragon bones dropped in the wilderness are noted, except from KBD. Look at this, love to see it all green. And before I forgot, let's sell this expensive bow, which was very, very useful. Well, we made 6 million from Venonatis, unfortunately, we didn't drop the dragon pickaxe. We made 12 million from Callisto, the dragon pickaxe was a really great drop. And from Verion, also the same thing. So in total, we made approximately 30 million cash. That was really, really awesome. Hello everybody and welcome. So today we will begin with the Karam Jadari and we need to complete two tasks. First, we need to craft 56 nature runes at once from Essence. And next, we need to create an anti-venom potion while standing on horseshoe mine in Karamja. We're ready and all set up. So let's start. I have a spicy stew on my inventory because I only have 90 runecraft and we need 91. Let's eat our spicy stew or drink it, I don't know. And we have 93. And that's the first task completed. We made 82 nature runes. The next one, create an anti-venom potion while standing on a horseshoe mine in Brimhaven. Use the 20 scales on an anti-venom potion plus plus and that's the task complete. That's the diary done, and let's go talk to Pirate Jackie to claim our reward. Give me the lamp, thank you very much, and we will use it on construction. I could use it on Herblore, but yeah, construction is way too expensive. We got a lot of cool benefits out of this diary, like for example, free cart rides, free access to the hardwood grove, all the metal dragons drop their bones noted on the Brimhaven dungeon, and also you have one free resurrection at the fight caves. But the best one is we have a direct teleport to Durdell. So it's amazing for Slayer. And we're still slaying Korox apparently. Now let's jump straight to the next Elite Diary, which is the Western Provinces one. The first one is to kill a thermonuclear smoke devil. I have a 90 Slayer, I need 93. I could boost with a wild pie, but I might as well get 93 because I need it anyways. The next one is to claim a Chumpy Bird hat from Rants with 1000 Chumpy kills. I have 300, so this one will take a while. And the last one is pickpocket an elf, so it's a pretty easy one. Let's start with an easy one, which is pickpocketing an elf. Excuse me, sir, I'm going to rob you. Or maybe not. What in fuck's name are you doing? Okay, that's the first one done. Let's go to the next one, which is kill <laughs> a lot of Chumpies. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, I think I'm mentally prepared for this. I have currently 300 KC. This is one of the few activities that I really don't like to do on RuneScape, but I have to do it, right? Well, one second for you. An agonizing couple of hours for me. 
but with this one it's finally done 1001 oh my god what a torture <laughs> Uh, but unfortunately, I think we will come back here because after this diary, we have a 1 in 500 chance of getting the chompy chick pets. And the dude is really, really cute. Yeah, bro, give me all the hats. I only like a few of them. And the task is complete. I really just like this one and the black one. They look really, really cool, but the rest, I think, is trash. Now it's time to finish the last task. And I don't want to boost. So, let the slayer grind again. And we finished the Kuresk task and got 1 million out of it. Not bad. Let's do this art clue. Let's see, let's see. And nothing special, just a bandle split legs, which is a collection log item. Hey, that's 94 defense. Just got a Hellhound task and I think I will boost it till level 91 and try to complete the task on Cerberus. I never kill her, so let's try and get my first KC. Let me correct myself. I did kill Cerberus, but it was on leaks, so it doesn't count. Now that I have 95 boosted with a wild pie, let's try to kill her. The only thing that scares me is the ghost phase because I don't know how to do it properly, but we're here to learn. Okay, here we go. Ranged first. Then magic. And melee. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I will spend a lot of supplies, they drain all my prayer. And here we go again, ranged, and I'm dead, no, oh, okay, and that's the first KC on the main game, of course, and we got the combat task, demon's best friend, let's go, first the, the melee one, then the ranged one, and the magic one, and we're alive, nice, and that's the second KC, I ate all of my supplies, but I think I did well overall. It wasn't so bad. No freaking way. <laughs> we just got the primordial. <laughs> what is this luck, bro? The primordial at 7 KC. What? 26 million. I don't know, man. That was just super lucky. I hope I get another one, but let's see till the end of the task. We just got the anti-bite mechanics kill Cerberus without taking any melee damage nice we also did this one which is negating six attacks from the summon souls this one kill Cerberus without taking damage from any lava pools and this one without the ghosts being summoned we just need a KC once kill her 75 times and 150 50 KC 75 KC and we got the combat task done Yo, we just got the second best drop, a smoldering stone. It's not a primordial, but it's the second best one. So I'm very, very happy. I'm so lucky with my RNG today. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so my arc light charges ended and I don't want to farm agent shards. So I think I will buy the Osmonton's Fang because it's a really OP weapon right now. It's 38 millions right now. I need four more millions. So I will sell some runes. Yeah. Okay, already sold. 139 million. <sighs> there goes all my money. And there it is. 139 million weapon. I never had an item so expensive, but it's mine now. I don't know why. I don't like the, the pointy thing. But it looks cool overall. It's the best weapon, uh, stab weapon in the game right now. So let's try it on Cerberus. This red Cerberus. It's so accurate. She just summoned the souls on the end of the fight. And we killed her before the souls come. So this is a really great weapon here. 100 KC. And after this, I'm broke. And I will not sell my items because I don't like doing that. So I have to grind some bosses to get it back. 150 KC. And we finished the last task, the last combat task here at Cerberus. Look at this, beautiful. I hate when the pools come at the same time as the ghost, but there it is, the Slayer task done. And we got 128k of Slayer experience. We made 37 million. We were so lucky with a crystal drop. Duradel baby, give us a good task. Abyssal demons. So it's an Abyssal Sire task. I'm so rusty. I have a guide on this. What the hell? Yo, and the Fang 
also hits consistently on the Sire. The Fang is really nice here also. And I want to test the new ring, the Light Bearer, for the extra specs on Sire. I think it will be great because I always need a Dragon War Hammond spec in the beginning of the fight. I'll sell all of this and hopefully get enough money to buy it. Okay, 9 million and 700. I'm broke again. This is great. I always have two specs in the beginning of the fight. Woohoo, look at this. And then Sire on the floor. Beautiful to see. Come on. Oh, a duplicate, man. Okay. I already have a dagger. I just need a bludgeon piece and the pad to complete all of it. Bro, six kills after the last and Sire. <laughs> what is this look? Let's see what we get. And that's the last bludgeon piece. And we just got the bludgeon. Nice. And the two pieces and use them on one another. Nope. Okay, we have to go to the Nexus to do this. And that's the bludgeon created. Farewell, my friend. We have the bludgeon. Now we can do the nightmare. It's a really cool weapon. I like it. Well, now we just need the Abyssal Orphan. One day we'll get it. One day. That's the task done. Almost 134k Slayer experience. Well, the thing is going to get nerfed. And it already crashed. It crashed like... 32 million already but I'm going to keep it because it's my only good step weapon and I really like it. Duradel baby give us a good task. Chaos Elemental. Well after the the last episodes obviously I'm going to do them all. 35 and yeah let's go. Well this is a super chill safe spot and that's 10 KC. Chaos Elemental Adapt. Elemental Veteran. Ooh, Dragon Two-Handed Sword. The Flincher. I already have all them completed. Let's see, the Flincher. Kill the Chaos Elemental without taking any damage from its attack. Nice, nice. And that's the task done, but I will do 10 more KC to appear on the high scores. And easy. 50 KC, no PKers, no nothing. Life's good. I'm using the Fang everywhere I can before it gets nerfed and I must say it's a broken weapon. It's even better here than the Dragon Hunter Lands. 91 Slayer. We can now do Cerberus without boosting. Mas como é que fizeste Cerberus com 90 de Slayer? Cerberus? Como é que fizeste Cerberus? Hey, got a jet task. Let's go to the fight caves and get this done. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, almost fucked up that last prayer switch. But that's the task done. 36k Slayer experience, and that's a personal best. 39 minutes. I know I could do much, much better, but I think I need better gear. We already have one on the bank, so let's see if we can get lucky on the pet. Never lucky. And it's the day after the Osmundson's Fang nerf and I already can see the differences. It's a lot more inaccurate than before. But it's still very useful for me because it's my best step weapon and I think I'll keep it. It already crashed more than 40 million. And the spec is still great. It still hits quite a lot here. And I still don't know which one is better, the Osmundson's Fang or the Dragon Hunter Lands against dragons. If you know guys, please let me know in the comments. It's very much appreciated. And that's the end of this Kraken task. I always love this task because it gives a lot of good experience. But the best thing is the loot because I always do like 4 to 5 million. So it's pretty awesome. Ooh, and we got the Gargoyles task. I think I will try for the first time the Grotesque Guardians. I never did it. So yeah, let's go. Okay, I saw a couple of guides. The tile markers are set. I am ready. Let's go. I just need to dance a little with Dusk and kill Dawn. Yeah. Okay, second phase. Oh, yellow is bad. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, third phase, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. Bad, bad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
What the fuck? Please die. <laughs> Just die. Okay. Okay, last phase. Nice, nice. Okay. This was easy. Bro, this was this was a cool animation. And that is the first KC. I used almost all of my supplies. Hey, and we got three combat tasks. And that's the second KC. I used almost all of my supplies. I used all the food, yeah. But overall, I think it was okay. Yeah, I think it was okay. I know I can do a lot better, but yeah, everything comes with practice. So, woohoo, 10 KC already. Nice. Yo, we just got the perfect Grotesque Guardian. What? What's this? Kill the Grotesque Guardians, wheels completing, I don't look at the Eclipse, Prison Break, Granite Footwork, Heal No More, Static... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I did it all. Very, very nice. 25kc, we are a Grotesque Guardians, Adept. Yo, a new item for the Collection Log, Granite Ring. Unfortunately, this is 20k. Let's open his casket real quick. And nothing, once again. In the meantime, I was doing raids with my friends and we were doing like 250s and I'm not very good at it, but I really enjoy it. And actually, we didn't get a purple, but I got the thread of Villadenis, which is amazing because now I can upgrade my rune pouch. Yes! Nice. Yes, I want to upgrade my rune pouch and it's done. It's blue, really, really nice. <laughs> And now I can put four runes inside of it, so it's so useful, man. It's really, really useful. And we are back to the Grotesque Guardians with a personal best and 50kc. This part of the fight looks really, really cool when we kill Dawn and Dusk enrages and gains her wing. It looks really, really awesome. He gains like the purple, the, the blue wing. It's really amazing. I love the animation. 92 Slayer and we just finished the task, really really good timing and honestly I really enjoyed this boss. The fight is engaging and the environment is really cool, <laughs> I like this very very much. And look at the experience, 209k, this is insane. And pretty good money wise, 90 million and 300k. Yo, I just got an enhanced crystal teleport siege from an elf, I didn't know they dropped this. I thought it was just from pickpocketing, but yeah, I will, I will put the, the drop rate on the screen right now. And of course, I will turn it into an eternal teleport crystal, because I don't want to gather the, the tiny teleport crystals and go to well in it every time. So I will turn it with 100 crystal charges, and that's an eternal teleport crystal. Now we have infinite teleports to Letia. And two Prifidinans also. Nice. Dagonaut Kings, the classic spot to train the Periflic. And we just got the wrong ring. Yo, I don't know what's happening, but I'm getting a lot of Black Dragon tasks. Another task completed. And we have a lot of KC. Wow. It's KBD or Kraken. And I'm not complaining, Kraken is a really good task. Ooh, Jar of Dirt, that's a collection log item. And with this, we just need a pet to complete the collection log. That's 96 attack, and shortly after, 96 defense. The stats are looking pretty good. Let's open another hard casket. Shit again. And another Lizardman Shaman task with no signs of a Dragon Warhammer. Please bro, just this time, an imbued heart. Please. No! Yo, I finally got the three ancient shards to charge my arc lights, and I have a master clue to finish, and I need an arc light for it. So let's go for it. Okay, it's now or never. A good thing, please. It's a master clue. Let's go. Three to one. <laughs> Why I'm not surprised, bro? Oh, it's always shit. Man, I have to say it. With HD, this superior looks really awesome. Look at the lightning. Lightning? Lightning. Oh, hey, and with this skill, we got level 93, finally, man. After almost two weeks, I always play when I can, and I really, I'm really happy to get this level. It's a really cool level. And no Dragon Warhammer. Okay, okay. Well, finally, let's finish the last task of the Western Provinces Diary. We can all complete it, and I know I could boost it with a wild pie, but I need this level in the future anyway, so let's go and finish it. Yeah, 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 enter it. Let's go, let's go. 
and Lucas here, tropa. Yo, I came here to crash you, bro. This guy is a machine. Look at him. <laughs> so this one is mine. Okay. Yo, the fang hits quite a lot here. 50. Yo, this was a really fast kill. And it's done. The diary is finally done. Thank you, tropa. And there it is, the cool banner and the 50,000 XP lamp that we'll use on construction. We could use it on our blower, but construction is also very expensive. Now with this diary, we have unlimited teleports to the Piscatoris fishing colony. The Slayer points given by Steve increase to match those of Duradel. And we have one free resurrection per day at Zulra. And with this one finished, we have four elite diaries to complete. Oh, and almost forgot one last thing. <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! I can finally go to sleep now. Look at the dude. He looks so cute. What's up everybody? Welcome. Well, we still have four diaries to complete. And today we are going to start with a desert one. We still have three tasks to complete from this elite diary. The first one is to speak to a Calphite Queen head on our POH. We need to kill a bunch of them to drop the head. The next one we need to steal from the last room of the Pyramid Plunder. And the final one we need to restore 85 prayer points at the altar in Sofnum. I think the last two are easy. I'm kind of worried about the first one, but let's see. Well, we're ready, but first let me just change real quick. Okay. Much, much better. Well, let's start with the easy ones. Let's finish the last room from the Pyramid Plunder. It will be great to get the Pharaoh Scepter in the meantime. I'm not feeling that lucky today, but that's a possibility. And there's the guy. Let's start. And there it is. Pretty easy task, I might say. Let's turn on all the prayers possible because I need to drain at least 85 prayer points. Okay, let's do it. And that's the task completed. Well, one last task to complete, and this is the hardest one. Speak to the Calphite Queen heads on our POH. So, the Calphite Queen head has a drop rate of 1 in 128. But I also want to get the Green Slayer Helmet, which is made by combining a normal Slayer Helmet with a KQ head. There's a guaranteed head drop at 256 kill counts. So my plan is to get the Slayer Helmet first, and if I get lucky and get the second drop before the guaranteed head drop, perfect. If not, well... We'll grind for it. Well, we're ready for the fight. I don't kill her like in years, so here goes nothing. Okay, no adventurers inside the lair. Let's go for it, soldiers. Q. Oh my gosh, she's hitting a lot, bro. Oh. Bro, and I forgot to Dragon Warhammer spec in the beginning. What the hell? Ooh, 69 there. I don't know what's happening. I'm hitting zeros after zeros after zeros. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, finally. Let's go to the second phase. Bro, what a noob. I forgot I need a, a ranged weapon in, a, in the second phase. I don't know if I can kill her. No more food. Come on. Oh my god. Goddamn bugs whacked his job. The meteor was shot out of orbit. Okay, second try. Let's go for it. Yo, 51 with the carries. I know it can hit really high with it, but I didn't saw it yet. Okay, second phase, here we go. Let's change to ranged. I think I will pre ranged. She uses a lot of ranged attacks here. They hit really high. Come on, please die. Oh my god, she hits. So, oh my god, that one, that one was close. I got chanced. Bro, she hits so consistently. I know I should be watching a guide to be more efficient, but I am actually enjoying discovery it by myself. Bro, she's doing so much damage throughout the fight. I need to do more damage to end the fight quickly. Okay, I've decided to get a Calphite task to do more damage to her. 
So let's do some tasks and see if we can get one. Well, and every time I kill Vorkath, I try to train my Wuxwalk because it's really bad. It's really okay, that's task complete. Please give us the cow fight task, please. Yes, yes, cow fights. Nice. We did like two tasks and, and got the cow fights. Awesome. Okay, now with the Slayer task and the Slayer helmet, we have the ranged and melee damage boost, so the kills will be a lot quicker. At least I hope so. Come on, let's go. Ooh, 32. 54. And a 30. This is much, much better. Ooh, yep, she continues to hit me quite a lot, but at least the first phase was a little bit faster. And once again, I forgot to Dragon War Hammer spec. That's so typical of me, man. I don't know, man. This boss is hard as hell. Please die. Please. <laughs> I'm with no food, man. No food left. Ah, oh, that's a one kill trip. Yo, that is 10, Casey. Whoa, this first phase went really well. I have basically all the food. Well, I guess the best method is basically not to rush it and just flinch her. It's the best method to preserve our food and our supplies. And that's the first phase done. And we have basically all the food. I was rushing this like a madman. We have to take some time on our Calphite Queen kill. Yo, look at the supplies. So much better. And that's our 25th KC. We are a Calphite Queen veteran. And we got two magic seeds. Beautiful. 50 KC. <laughs> hey, look what's on the floor. The cake you had at 53 KC. Really, really nice. So now I'll use these heads to create the, the Green Slayer helmet. And then if I get another one, I will end the diary. But if not, I will have to kill the 256 Calified Queens to get the guarantee drop. I think I, I'm getting really better at it. I'm killing like two or three per trip instead of just one. So yeah, I'm learning. Let's unlock the Green Slayer helmet. Here it is, Calified Cat for 1000 points. Now we just need to use the head on the Slayer Helmet, and there it is, the Green Slayer Helmet, beautiful, this is one of my favorites for sure, it looks really cool with Carol also, and it's imbued for the magic, but mainly of course for the ranged damage bonus, look at this, the collection is getting bigger, no way, bro, <laughs> we're done, another Calphite Queen Queenhead, beautiful bro, <laughs> We don't need to grind the 256 KC anymore. Man, I'm glad this happened. And we got it at 70 KC. Beautiful. Now I need to give this lady 50,000 coins. And she'll stuff my kick you had. Here it is. Let's build this bad boy. It's done. Beautiful. Let's talk to it to finish the diary. And it's done. Look at the size of it. It's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> and there it is. Finally, now when we use this amulet, we have 100% protection against desert heat. Also, we have unlimited teleports to the Calphite Cave, which is next to the Shantai Pass. We have also unlimited teleports to Narda. We're also able to use, finally, the shortcuts to the Calphite Queen Lair. And personally, my favorite, we have free pass through the Shantai Pass. Now the moment of truth. I will use this lamp on construction, but you guys voted and Herblor won, so I will use it on Herblor. There it is, 50,000 experience drop. Well, let's jump straight to the next diary, which is the Fremnik one. We still have to craft 56 Astro Runes from Essence, and we need to kill all the God Wars bosses. I already killed Bandos and Ceradomin, if I'm not mistaken, so I need to kill Armadil and Zamorak. And I need to complete the Frozen Door mini quest, I didn't complete this yet. And I need to kill every single boss to get a key. I already have the Bandos key, so I need the rest of them. Well, I'm all geared up, let's start with Commander Ziliana. I don't need to get the kill count for this one because I have a ecumenical key on my inventory. So let's go. Man, she's tanky as fuck. I only have the dragon dragon crossbow. I don't have a, an armadillo. Come on, bro. I'm so bad at this. I only have like 5kc. Oh my god, please. <laughs> I'm tired of running. Yes, finally we got the kill. Let's pick up the key and get out of here. 
Okay, we have two keys, the Bandos one and Sarah Domin one. Two to go. Let's go for Kree now. I also had an economical key to spare, so no KC needed. Well, this will be the chillest one. We just need to be here and try not to die and just hit the boss. Okay, easy kill. And that's the third key. Okay, last boss. Let's go kill Krill. I don't have any more ecumenical keys to spare, but this KC is the easiest one. We just need to kill some imps. Okay, 40 KC. Let's go. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, pre pots. Prayer. Here goes nothing. Oh my god, bro, no! Okay, second try, we also have the dead pile, so let's go. This one was much much better and this is the last piece of the key. Hey and we've completed the task, beautiful. Now with these key pieces I can complete the mini quests and unlock next. So let's use them on one another and there it is, the frozen key. Let's go and finish the mini quest. There's the frozen door right here and here we are. Let's talk to this girl. And that's the mini quest complete. Let's see. Yes, it's completed. Well, now if I want to get rich, I can start and camp next. Well, let's go for the last task, craft 56 Astro Runes. Pretty easy one. And with this, we completed the Fremnik Elite Diary. Gave us the reward, bro. Thank you very much. Well, and we got some cool perks out of this Elite Diary. For example, the Dagonaut King bones will be dropped in noted form. We no longer need the Seal of Passage to interact with the NPCs in the Lunar Isle. And personally, my favorite, we now have a direct teleport to Relica, which is amazing to kill Vorkat. Well, and once again, let's use this lamp on Herblor. And there it is, another 50,000 XP drop. So, we still have two Elite Diaries to complete, the Kandarin and the Koran and Kebos one. We're almost getting our Achievement Diary Cave, and I really want to say thank you guys for sticking around. We're almost there. The Barbarian Assault If you're new to this game, well, it can be the most overwhelming and confusing game of all time. The goal is to defeat 9 waves of monsters and finally get to the last room to defeat the Penance Queen. You gather around the lobby to form a team of 5 with 4 different roles. You have the attacker, his job is to terminate the rangers and fighters. The healer, his job is to use poison foods on the Penance healers and also heal his teammates so they won't die. The collector, he collects eggs, puts them on the cannon and drinks a beer in the meantime. And finally, the defender, his job is to lure the runners to his traps to kill them. Nice. Throughout the game, all players need to tell certain team members what they need to do by using the horn. It's a teamwork, so if one fails, the team fails. The last room, it's Chad. The collector collects the eggs, gives them to the healer. The healer puts some guacamole on them, gives them to the attacker. The attacker puts some spikes on them, then gives them to the defender who gives the finishing touches by dipping them on some barbecue sauce. Then the eggs are given back to the collector to put them on the cannon to finally finish up the kill. Go through hell and get level 5 on each roll and finally you've beat the game. Oh my god, let's see, let's see. Level 5 on each roll, all of them are mastered man. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful man. Let's just read the boards and that's the elite task completed. Well, to be honest, I really thought this would be so much more difficult, man. But yeah, I got through it like in two days. 
The first games were really rough, but I did enjoy the last few games when I got the hang of it. But yeah, it's finally done. And I don't need to come back here anymore. I don't need the torso because I have this Bandos chest plate, so I'm really happy. So now we just need to complete a few other tasks to get our Kandarin Elite Diary, so let's get it done. And that's one done. Bro, I got so lucky on this one. We already got the chewed bones at 4kc. I don't know what's the, the, the drop rates of the chewed bones, but I'll put it on the screen. Let's construct this beautiful pyre, burn the bones. And that's the Elite Diary from Kandarin completed. Ah, it feels good, bro. It's finally done. Thank you, man. Cool helmet. Let's use the lamp on Herblore. Construction. Herblore? Construction. Uh, I don't know, bro. Uh, fuck it. Construction. Well, to be honest, the Kandarin rewards, I think they are really good for Iron Man, but for me, the only reward that I'm interested in is the teleport to Sherlock because it's amazing to do clues. Well, and with this one finished, we just need to complete the Karen and Cables Elite Diary. We still have to kill one Hydra. We need to get 95 Slayer. And I think I will kill an Alchemical Hydra because I just want to kill an Alchemical Hydra. I never killed one before. So I think it will be interesting for me to kill one and complete this diary with it. And the last task, I need to complete the Chambers of Zerik. I never did this raid before, so it will be a challenge also. Let's begin the 95 Slayer grind. We currently have 93 and let's pick up where we left. We still have a Calphite Queen task, so let's go. <laughs> Look at this, the third cake you had already. We got two heads on the last episode. <laughs> hey, I just logged in and apparently we have some XP rewards to collect. This is from the quest rewards update, so let's collect the XP. Bro, this is mental. What the hell is this? Of course I want the XP, please. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that drop. We also have one lamp from here. That goes to defense. Also a couple from this guy. And this gentleman also has four lamps for us. Nice. And back to Slayer. This is the end of this task. And we got 93,000 Slayer experience on this beautiful Calphite Queen task. <laughs> Look at this, a jar of stone. It's a 1 million drop. I will not sell it on the GE. I prefer to use it here on my POH. Look at this, so cool. It looks really really cool we still have a bunch of them to collect and i think i'll buy the the cheapest ones on the ge but the most expensive ones i think i will wait to drop them but yep yeah. look at this level 94 slayer coming in and currently we have 350 kc on the grotesque guardian yo look at this drop the tourmaline core i think this is used on the boots of stone to create the guardian boots if i'm not mistaken really nice drop and that's the end of the task with 209k Slayer experience and 420kc. <laughs> well, you'll love to see it. A disconnection at Forecast. That's a certain death. Yep. Ooh, level 97 attack. Ooh, and that's 97 defense. Yep. At least we got level, looking pretty good. I think I'm getting really better at the Wooks Walk. At least I don't get damage as often. But yeah, with practice, I'll get there. And that's another task complete. And we got 126k experience here at Vorkath. And we made, let's put just everything there. And we made 19.2 million. <laughs> really, really nice task. This is a really profitable task. Another Slayer task, another 45k experience. Master Casket, let's see if we can get lucky. Hearts for good luck. And nothing. Wait. Bull wig. What's this? <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Look at the drip. This is cool and all, but I prefer my pink dreadlocks. There's another Kraken task. I really enjoy this task. It's so AFK. Elite clue. Can we get lucky? Nope. Bro, no way, I just saw the pop-up and started recording right away. And it's the pets, what the fuck, bro? It's the pets. <laughs> bro, I love this pet, it looks so good. 
It's one of my favorites. I can't believe I got it, man. <laughs> I'm so happy, bro. Look at the little guy. So cool. This is a 1 in 3000 and we got it at 527kc, well below the drop rate, so I couldn't be happier. And there it is, level 95 Slayer. Slayer is super slow to drain, but we finally got it, level 95. Now we can kill Hydras, look at this, 95. I know I could kill a normal Hydra for this task, but I really want to kill the Alchemical Hydra because I never killed one and it's the highest Slayer boss to kill, so I really want to try it out. So yeah, let's see if we can get an Hydra Slayer task, but first let's finish this one. Please, Connor, give us an Hydra task straight out the bat. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I just got the pet. Okay, I, I, I think I will do like 5 kills, yeah, just to be quick. Hydra task, please. Rune Dragons, no way. <laughs> Bro, I have so many points. <laughs> I think I will skip all the tasks until I get a, an Hydra task. It's easier. So cancel this Rune Dragon task. And please... Hydra! Yes! 170 Hydras. Beautiful. Okay, I'm ready. I have the Mark Tiles since the, the Shattered Relics League. But that's a whole different game. I never killed it on the main game. So let's go try and kill the Hydra for the first time. Pot up. And... Let's go. And it's done. <laughs> the last part of the fight was not that good, but the fight was was okay overall. And there it is, the elite diary task completed. And I enjoyed the fight. The fight is engaging and this boss is not that hard. I thought it will be much, much harder. So now we just need to complete the Chambers of Zeric. Let's get that done. No one wanted to do this raid with me, so I want to thank Justino. He was the only kind soul that volunteered to go with me. I also want to thank Odin. He didn't go with us, but he was our coach throughout this adventure. Vocês não parem um tipo que as pedido que eu estou a fazer raid sem fazê-la. Não leva de nada, mano. And with persistence, resilience, and a lot of focus, we got a perfect run, one of the fastest in the game history, and finally got our elite diary completed. Please don't look at the time. On top of that, we got some juicy loot. And with this task done, we got all of the diaries completed. I just want to thank Justino and Odin for being our coach on Discord. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible, so thank you, bros. And here we are, the last reward we're going to get. Finally, the last elite diary completed. Let's use this one on construction. There it is, 50,000 experience. And with this elite diary completed, we got the Redus Blessing 4 with a plus 2 prayer bonus. Unlimited teleports to the top of Mount Karum. We also now have protection against the burn inside of the Karum Slayer dungeon without the Boots of Stone, Granite or Brimstone Boots. Also, now we get 20 Slayer points instead of 18 when we get a Konar Slayer task. And with no more delays, let's get this juicy, juicy cape. Yes, please, we want that beautiful cape. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> it feels good. Oh bro, we came a long way. It's not trimmed because I didn't finish the last few quests that came out, but let's see the beautiful emote.
This is in my opinion the best emote in the game. And now we have teleports all around the map because now we have teleports to every single taskmaster. So this is life changing. And with all the diaries completed, we now can close this chapter and begin the next one. Guys, it's done. We finally got this beautiful cape. On the few last episodes, we completed all the elite diaries and got access to our achievement diary cape. Now we just need to trim it because currently it's untrimmed and I think I just need to complete a few quests. We still have two quests to go, so I think I will start with the Garden of Death and then the Sleeping Giants, which is the quest that gives us access to the Giants Foundry, so let's go. That's the Garden of Death completed. And that's the Sleeping Giants also completed. Now with the completion of this quest, we can trim this bad boy. Look at this. It looks much better now. Okay, now that we have our cape trimmed, we can now focus on what's really important. Currently, the account looks like this. As you can see, we already have 1099s completed and we still have 13 skills to go. So we still have a big road ahead. And I think the first 99 I want to get on this episode is smithing and we are in the giant's foundry, so I want a few things from here. First, I want to get the full smithing outfit because with the full outfit you get 100% chance to speed up a smithing action at an anvil by one tick. That will help me a lot throughout my 99 grind and also I really like how it looks so. I'm not sure if I want to get the double ammo mold but the outfit pieces for sure and the colossal blades. I think I will leave it for my pure. So yeah, in total I will need 15k points for the full outfit. So yeah, let's try this game for the first time and see how it goes. The downside to this is I'm basically making a pipe bomb. Watch out, watch out, watch Whoa. out! Wow, that was a really awful time. Yep, 11 minutes. But with this XP drop, we get... Yep, level 91 smithing, beautiful. Currently we have almost 4500 points. Level 92 smithing. 12 hours in and we have 11,000 points, so we are making approximately 1k points an hour. And here's the last sword we needed. I think it was the last one. Yep, there it is, 15k points. Now we can buy all the pieces from the outfit. And we got all the points in a course of 2 days, so approximately 16 hours. So yeah, let's buy the, the first piece. There's the top, bottom, boots, and finally the gloves. And there you have it, the full outfit. Let's equip it real quick. Beautiful, I really like this outfit. Now we can also combine the smith gloves with the ice gloves. And basically you get the two gloves in one. And they look really cool also. Now I think this cape looks really awful here, so I'm getting a much much better one. It was given to me by my friend Idiot Son. He's an hardcore Iron Man and he still gave me this cape. He's crazy. And it sure looks amazing with his outfit. Thank you for the fashion cape, brother. Okay, as you can see, we are halfway to 99 and we are going to smith plate bodies from now on. So we are going to the best spot in the game to do it. I'll see you there. Yep, we are in Priftiness, the city of the elves, and I really love this place to smith because the bank, it's literally right here, so it makes everything easier. You can AFK, see a series, and it's super chill, I really enjoy it. We need to smith approximately 21,000 Adam and Plate bodies, so this will be our home for the next few days. And as you can see right there, I have my pure account, I alking all the plate bodies I make. That's because I already have 99 magic on this account, so I'm training and utilizing the adamant plate bodies on that account. I've decided to IALK all the plate bodies I make because currently the price of making a plate body is 9k and 755 GP. And the IALK is 9k 984 GP. 
so the difference is 229 but we still have the price of the nature rune which is 117 gp 229 minus 117 so we get 112 from each plate body we hulk <laughs> it's not much but i rather prefer making money than lose 94 smithing 95 96 and with this level we achieved 2200 total level a pretty cool milestone on the account level 97 98 one level to go we are almost there last inventory here in varrock for 99 smithing let's go let's go come on and that's 99 smithing on the main account <laughs> it's done and not gonna lie, it was very, very chill, super easy. Let's get that cape. Thurgo, give me the cape, bro. I deserve it. And here it is, it's mine. The smithing skilling cape. And it matches the outfit. So cool. Let's see the emote. Nice one, kinda long, but really, really cool also. A couple of weeks ago I posted a poll for you guys to choose the next skill for me to drain and of course you guys chose the worst one, why not? At first I avoided it and decided to go for smithing but you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going to get 99 mining on this episode, let's get this one out of the way. Here we are ready to mine but I don't really like how this outfit matches with the cape so I will be hunting shooting stars to get the golden prospector outfit. I already have the celestial ring, it costs around 5k stardust if I'm not mistaken. So I just need 12k stardust to get my prospector golden, so yeah let's start the hunt. Woohoo, there it is, 12k, it's done. And this was really easy because of the CC, it says exactly the spot where the shooting stars fall and they talk a lot of shit sometimes but they helped a lot so. Yes sir, give me all it's 3k each so 12k in total now i just need to use it on a piece of equipment and it's not reversible so choose wisely if you want to change it or not yo it looks so much better i really like it very very nice i'm really thinking about finishing this collection lock slot so the gem bag and the coal bag to finish this mother load mine collection lock I think it will be very very easy so yeah let's go for it level 93 we already have 124 gold nuggets we need 100 for each so 200 in total and this should be it we just need two gold nuggets yes sir we got three nice let's buy one coal bag that's a collection lock slot and a gem bag there's the collection lock slot pop up i don't think i will never need these bags but you never know here's the green collection lock for the murder lore mine and the shooting stars is also green <laughs> nice and we made almost 4 million out of this mainly from the runite ores of course and the adamant ores also made 1 million so really really cool now that we have this out of the way the true grind will begin we still have a lot of xp to go and i think i will learn how to do tritic granite because it's the fastest way to get 99 and i really want to to learn it so let's go for it Well, I really wish I could say I mastered it and it was easy for me, but the truth is, it wasn't. I could in fact do it for a couple of cycles, but every once in a while I failed the timing or misclicked and clicked away from the spot. The truth is, it's not for me. I really like the chill and enjoyable playtime because I'm not a sweaty player. I'm just not that guy. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. I tried to highlight the rocks and I still managed to click away many times and fail the tick cycles. It was time to find another way to 99. I've managed to find another way which not only made me money but prevented me to lose my mind in the process and that was gem mining. Plus it has the highest chance to get a pet. At least it's what Google says. And you may be asking how many gems I need to mine to get 99? Well, 
we need to mine almost 85,000 gems to get 99 so this will be a long long grind at least this is afk as hell and if you are planning of training this way please wear an amulet of glory because you have a higher significant chance of mining the gem so if you are planning to come here please make sure you are wearing one a level 94 and look at this the gem bag was useful after all and as I'm getting 99 mining, I got 80 agility on my pure account. With the granite methods, this wouldn't be possible, so I'm enjoying this a lot. Level 95. And it says we are making 51k an hour, but on average, we are making 45k an hour. So approximately till 99, we still have 95 hours to go. That's level 96. Let's go level 97. Approximately 35k stones to go. Level 98, one level to go. Oh my god. 19k gems to go. Guys, we are almost there. 17k to go. And we are going to Varrock to finish this up. And as I was arriving to the spot, the boys were already waiting for me to finish this big milestone. Not gonna lie, this 99 took way too long, but in the end, it was worth it. When I started playing, thinking about getting 99 mining was just mind blowing. But here we are, years later, finally achieving it. And there it is, after 150 hours, I think, 99 mining on the main accounts, finally. I just want to thank the boys, Odin, Tropa and Justino for being with me while I was getting 99. It was awesome. It's finally time to change this cape from my back. I was using the smithing cape for so long, but there it is, the mining cape, finally. And it suits really well with the Golden Prospector. Let's see the emotes. God, ah! Bro, I really love this emote. And unfortunately, I didn't get the pet, but I'm not planning to get it because I don't want to touch on mining for a long, long time. <laughs> and there's the amount of gems we got throughout this episode. With a total amount of 49 million and 300 GP. Let's sell this all on the G and see how much money we really get. All sold and we got, yep, 49 million. And in the middle of this grind, I went to Paris with my girl and let's just say it was awesome. The best part was when I saw a bronze dragon. And also I beat my girl on the Buzz Lightyear laser blast game for a lot. I really needed to do this trip and I'm glad I made it and I want to thank you all for the continued support. On the last episode we've completed 99 smithing and 99 mining with a huge 150 hour grind. Damn! I'm sorry. Now it's time to complete the last two skills on this row. And today of course as you can see we're starting with fishing. I really want to start doing some more temporos because I only have 50kc and I think it's a pretty easy game. I really would love to get a pet so I don't need to come back here ever again. And I don't want the spirit angler, I rather prefer the OG angler outfit. I also would love to get a tackle box to put all my fishing stuff in it. And a fishing barrel of course to get a lot more fish per inventory because it can store 28 fish inside of it so it's pretty useful. And we have some combat tasks to knock out here at Temporos so it will be fun to complete all of this. Yep, I think we're ready, let's start with these combat tasks real quick. Calm before the storm, it's already done, pretty easy one, fix a mast or a totem. And with this one... Yep, master of buckets, extinguish at least 5 fires on a single game. And we just need to load these two to complete the last one of the easy ones of course. Yep, there it is, fire in the hole by loading boat cannons on boat ships, easy one. Okay, let's see the last ones we need to knock out. Subdue a temporos alone without getting hit by fires, torrents or waves, okay, I just need to be more careful on this one. I'm almost sure this was like a perfect one. Yes sir, the lone angler completed. I'm not very worried about the last one, I know there's a pretty easy method to do it. It's this one, subdue temporos getting rewarded with 10 reward permits. Yup, look at this, 8.4k points and still going. 
you just need 8k points to finish this one so yeah we just got this one in the bag yes sir there it is why cook completed just a quick note if you need to complete this task and you need the guides go check the one that i made on it hope it helps and with this one all the temporal tasks are completed look at this beautiful in the meantime, I completed the quest Secrets of the North, which is a requirement for completing Desert Treasure 2 in the future. I'm very excited for it. It also gets us access to Phantom Muspa, the new boss. The money per hour here at the moment is crazy, but I only have one thing on site right now, and that is getting my max cape. Okay, right now we have 20 reward points. Let's see if we can get anything good on a reward pool. We're aiming for the pet, the tackle box, or the fish barrel. Let's see if we can get lucky. Ooh, that's the tackle box. Nice. Yes! Yes! Collection log, my. We can now scratch this one from the Temporos bucket list. Beautiful. Right now I have 55kc and I think I'm aiming for 500kc. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, let's play some Temporos and let's see. And that's the first level of the episode, 93 fishing. 150 games, we're doing pretty good. And there's 94 fishing. Currently we 215 games, still have a long way to go. Bro, I don't know what's happened, but I think I glitched the game. What the hell is going on? This isn't normal. Well, okay, this is my life now. Ooh, never mind. And that's 250 games with a new camera angle. That's really nice. We're getting three reward permits on average, sometimes two, sometimes four, but on average we're getting three, so that's pretty good, I think. And that's level 95 fishing, we still have four levels to go. It's not easy doing many Temporos games in a row, so I'm jumping from Temporos to barb fishing when I want to chill for a bit or just AFK. There it is, level 96. A really useful tool you can use here is on your configurations. Go to your menu entry swapper, click on it, go to item swaps and check the customizable left click. So this way you can drop easily the fish on the floor. You need to right click, swap the left click. I will reset it right now and swap it to drop then you just need to left click and drop it straight to the ground it's a really useful tool you can use here or anywhere else you need to drop items so yeah and there you go level 97 i think i have kid here for too long let's get back to temporos 400 games played 420 i'm feeling fucking zooted and that's level 98 finally one level to go it's the final stretch let's get this 99 and there it is, level 99 fishing here at Temporos. Thank you guys. <laughs> nice. And we played in total 527 games. We also got 1169 permits. I'm very excited to get all those rewards, but first, let's get that cape. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, I love the feeling of getting another cape, man. Let's see the emote real quick. Yes, sir, a pretty cool emote. But let's get to the fun part, which is getting all those rewards. I hope I get the pet or the fish barrel. Let's see. Here we are at the reward pool. We are starting with 1169 reward permits. The pet is 1 in 8,000, so it's kind of difficult to get. And the fish barrel is 1 in 700. It's easier to get, yeah, but fingers crossed. Let's see. Oh, fish barrel. That was easy, bro. <laughs> well, we can also check this one out from the Temporos wishlist. Nice. Two out of three. We just need a pet, everything else I don't want, but yeah, let's see if we continue to get lucky. Spoiler alert, we didn't get lucky. This took 38 minutes, I don't advise you to do this at all. But yeah, unfortunately, no luck on the pets, but we got a lot of things here. We got a tome of water, which is currently 300k. We got this big harpoon fish, which I think you can put on your POH, I'm not sure. The spoon fish barrel, of course. And a lot of spirit flakes that you can have on your inventory when you are fishing to give you a chance to get a double catch. Yeah, let's open this casket and make a quick price check. First price check. 4 million in 400k almost. Let's open this. Oh, 
Ooh, medium clue. Let's do this too and come back here real quick. Back with the two caskets and I'm putting them on the bank. I think I'll make a video opening all the clues that I get throughout the series. But yeah, let's continue to open this. Okay, that's all of it. We got almost 600k and we got a total of 4,870k. Not gonna lie, I thought this would be much much better, but no problem. And in the meantime, I got level 92 on my pure account. From level 80 to 92, I trained only catching salmons and trouts on free to play worlds. I think it was a pretty cool thing to do, but yeah, let's continue with the grind. Yep, here we are, ready to begin this next big grind. As you can see, I already have the beaver. I got him at level 75, so yeah, it will be our little companion till we get 99. And for 99, we need to cut 15,000 in 44 redwoods, so obviously I will be AFKing all the way. And yep, yeah, this will be my home for the next couple of weeks, so yeah. <laughs> First woodcutting level of the episode, level 94. And there it is, level 95 woodcutting. We did a lot of progress today. 475k woodcutting experience and 71k firemaking experience. It was a really good day. And we are making a lot of good progress on the pure account also. 85 mining, we can now mine runa ores. Level 96. And look at that, level 2220, pretty cool. Level 97. 98, we are almost there. Stay on target. Almost there. This is a really cool level right here, 2222. But there it is, the big one, 99 wood cutting, man. Finally, brother. Finally. And with this 99 is the end of the gathering skills, finally. They are the most AFK, but I'm kind of relieved about that. We still had 4% remaining on our Infernal Axe. The Infernal Axe was really useful here because I didn't have to bank so often. And with 100% charge, you can burn 5000 logs here, so we burn almost that amount. And in the end of the grind, we cut almost 10k logs and made 4 million in 400k. We also got a lot of clues that will open somewhere in the future. I was dreaming about getting this cape for so long, bro. And there it is, another one on the list. Oh, let's see the emotes. With the X clipping on the head. <laughs> A RuneScape classic. With these two grinds, fishing and woodcutting, we got almost 200 hours of progress on this episode. We still have 999s to complete, but at least we got rid of the gathering skills. And I think we've completed the artist 99s. Maybe not. But yeah, I'm excited to work on the next ones. The grind never stops. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. On the last episode, we've completed the last row on the skill tab, finishing up woodcutting and fishing. On today's episode, we will spend a lot of time on this area of the map, and I'm pretty sure you already know what skill we're starting with. Yep, we're starting with thieving here at the Ardog Knights at World 2. And as you can see, we're using the full rogues outfit for double loot. We're also using the Arty Cloak 4, which gives us the ability to hold up to 140 coin pouches, which is amazing. This was a really good update for pickpocketing here. And of course, we're using dodgy necklaces to avoid getting stunned. When we get 95, we can't fail a pickpocket here anymore. But because we don't have 95 yet, we still have to use them. So, yeah. We're starting with level 92, so halfway there. I'm using the Entity Hider here because sometimes this gets really chaotic. There's too many people here sometimes. So, I really prefer to use it. It's much, much easier to see the Yardog Knights. And we still have 75,000 pickpockets to do, so this will be pretty fun as you can imagine. 
Yo, there's the first level of the episode, level 93 and level 94, one level away to not getting stunned ever again here. And there it is, no more dodgy necklaces for this guy. And no more food, so we can also drop these cakes. Yo, a couple of levels after and we have level 97. Nice. What are you doing, step bro? And here's the clip of the 99 fletching on my pure accounts. And of course, I will try to keep always my untrimmed cooking cape. <laughs> Yo, there's level 98, one level to go for the big goal. I think we still have 8 hours for 99, so let's keep pushing it. Well, after 75,000 pickpockets, we can now say we are professional bandits, burglars, I don't know, but there it is, level 99, thieving, finally. My hand hurts, I will probably need a new mouse, but there it is, level 99, thieving, and we made almost 7.5 million out of this, pretty nice, I think. <laughs> Look at what this guy said. Now escape this hell hole while you can. Yep, I will do that, brother. Good advice. <laughs> Give us the cape, bro. Yo, pretty cool cape. <laughs> well, the next big grind will be agility, and we need to make. We need to do 5,679 laps at the Ardogan rooftop course. This will be a grind and a half, but hey, we need that sweet, sweet max cape, so it's for a good cause. And before we start agility, I just want to say, I would love if you join my French chat. I am mostly AFKing and having a good time, so if you want, feel free to join. Type Supreme Kai and come hang out. I also have a Discord that I will put in the description, so if you guys want to join it, feel free to do it. And yeah, that's it. Join my French chat, boys, and join my Discord, and let's start agility. Well, first day of agility, this will be a running simulator, so yeah. Bro, I was seeing all these new 99s, looking at thieving, and suddenly, look at this. Nani? What the fuck is this, bro? So, on this account, we have shamanism, and on a pure account, we have sailing, so this must be a April's full joke. Nice one, Jagex. Yo, 95 agility, coming in. Huge level, we now have the maximum run energy regeneration. Nice. <sighs> Last lap of the day, day 8 of the rooftop grind. And we made 311,000k today, really really good day. We also have more than 800 marks of grace, <laughs> really really nice. Look at this milestone right here, 1,000 marks of grace, huge man, huge. Coming in level 97, two levels to go officially, 2,953 laps for the big 99. Yo, my pure is popping off lately, another 99, this time 99 smithing. <laughs> Guys, please just be honest. Do I look you like this? Daddy, chill. Now seriously, I like this. I kinda like this. I'm feeling Viking vibes right here. Yup, from now on, I'm purple haired Ragnar Lothbrook. Yo, yo, level 98 agility coming in. One level to go for the big, big goal. Yo, and look at this. We have so many marks of grace. 17 million GP. I was thinking I have a lot of marks of grace and I always wanted to get the Dark Graceful so I think I will go to Allot Sepulcher to get all the dice needed. I also was thinking about getting the speedrunning Graceful outfit but I don't hate my life so I'm just going to get the Dark one, it's much much easier. I already have 4 Graceful outfits but I think the Dark one is the most good looking. I never did Allot Sepulcher so yeah this will be a challenge. Look at my fucking abs, I'm fucking sexy. I'm fucking fucking phenomenal. What? Just look at my beard. First time floor five completed on time. Let's see what we get. Well that's definitely shite. Well, but we make six million in three hundred and eighty-six chests. There's the dice. And there's the full outfit. Not gonna lie, this looks really, really cool. We now have our swag on points. Let's get the 99. Well, it's super early in the morning, but I couldn't wait any longer for this. After 20 days of running like a madman, here it is, the big one. Level 99, agility. 
Ah, uh, finally, man. <laughs> it feels good, bro. This was a big, big one. One of the hardest 99 so far. I think mining was a little bit harder, but this one was tough also. More than 2,000 marks of grace on the end of these grinds. I will leave 300 on the bank because I may want another graceful in the future. Let's trade this ones for amylized crystals and see how much money we get. Every last one. And we got 18,000 amylized crystals. The price went way down. I'll put them for 990 and hope they sell overnight. I'm really happy with the progress we made so far. The next 99s will be herb lore and construction, so let's finally start spending some cash. We will need to make almost 49,000 super combat potions to get 99 herb lore. Let's see how much money we have for this. Wow, this is a really healthy cash stack. Let's buy all the dorsals, 49k, 150 million. Now we wait for it to buy. And as I wait for this to buy, I just want to thank you guys if you stick around till the end. You guys are amazing. You really are. And I will leave herb lore in construction for the next episode. And wait a second. How did I forgot this, bro? The best killing KP mode. <coughs> we all know that RuneScape saying, you can never quit RuneScape, you only take breaks. Well, that happened to me this past couple of months. I got a new job, started a new course and went to the gym a lot more often. And to be honest, it felt good. I think we can never stop improving our own skills and establish goals for ourselves. One advice I can give you is, don't settle for less than you deserve. Take risks and invest on what you're good at. And if you don't know what you're good at yet, well, go after what makes you happy. Do exercise, learn new skills, but never stop chasing the better version of yourself. And in the end, remember, a RuneScape player never quits. We only take breaks. And that's what I did. But before I took this big break, I actually made a lot of progress on the account. I started to work on my herb lore and to achieve 99, I needed to make almost 49,000 super combat potions. This method is super chill and the levels started coming pretty quickly. Got level 92, 93, 94 and 95. And in the meantime, got these pretty cool hilts with a combat achievement update. Holy I previously had bought all the herbs needed, so I was consistently buying the rest of the potions from the GE to have more to make. And the rest of the levels came very fast. With only one level to go and 8k potions to make, the goal was very, very close. We gathered the boys at the GE and got this amazing 99. Another one to check out from the list. I swear to god bro, moments like this are one of the best things this game can give you. But yeah, this grind was pretty quick and chill in comparison to the other ones like mining or agility of course. And in total from 90 to 99 I spent approximately 30 million GP. And with this cape we can have a pestilent motor if we search it and it also gives the ability to create unfinished potions with grimy herbs. But let's be honest, I'm not training this skill ever again on this account. I'll only use it for fashion scape of course. With Herb Lore out of the way, we were ready for the next one. Construction. To achieve 99 construction, we had three routes possible. The first one was Oak Dungeon Doors. We needed to build 12,087 of them, with a total cost of 52 million approximately. Having in mind that for each door we needed 10 oak planks, we can only have 2 actions per inventory before we needed to use the demon butler to bring us more planks again. The second route was mountain mythical capes. We needed to make 90,599 with a total cost of 49.9 million. And for each action we needed 3 tick planks, so per inventory we had 8 actions in total. And finally, mahogany tables. We needed to build 8,633 of them investing a total of 105 million. And with 6 mahogany planks needed for each table per inventory, we had 4 actions. I thought about this for a while and I didn't know which one was better for me. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I knew after I get 99, I wanted to buy all the high level furniture to make my house a real maxed house. And also I had in mind the amount of actions I needed to do before I have to call the demon butler again. So I went for mythical caves. Yes, it's much more click intensive than the other ones, but I did worse grinds in the past. And if I can save money for later, why not? I put the offer on the GE and now we just needed to wait.
With all the planks needed, we were ready to grind. And we started really, really strong. Got level 91, level 92, and... We stopped playing. I started my new job and course and the motivation just wasn't there anymore. But I knew I needed to come back eventually. I needed to finish this up. All I want is my max cape and I was determined to come back better than him. And I came back with quite a surprise. 7.6 million for a bond. Wow. I started straight up working to make up for the lost time. Got level 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, and with only 3,321 mounted medical capes left, the finish line was straight ahead. And finally, we got level 99 construction. Beautiful. I've wanted this cape for so long, and now it's finally mine. Now, after hours and hours of grinds, I can finally take a dump in peace. Now seriously, this cape is awesome. Now we have teleports to all POH portals, which is massive for transportation in a game. Truly game changing. Okay, so right now the goal is to renovate the house, put everything beautiful and maxed. So let's get to work. Let me just delete this garden right here and put this right here. Erase this one. I don't need this one. And yes, I think this is it. Now let's spend real money. This one is gonna hurt. 25 million on Onyx. This, this is not okay. Let's build this spirit tree and fairy ring first. And now these expensive benches we can't even use. And of course, we have to change the floor. Yes, sir. This one looks amazing, man. Yes, sir. And that's it. I really love how it turned out, man. So, in the end, we went from this to this. I really liked the house before, but I prefer it right now. It's simpler and with all the high-level stuff, so it looks really, really cool. Especially with that lava floor. Well, now it's time to change the dungeon, so I'll see you in a second. Yes, sir. I really like remodeling the house, man. I think it turned out really, really cool. Tell me what you think in the comments, guys. Did you like it? Well, in the end, we spent approximately 50 million GP. I'm really, really happy how the house turned out. And of course, with the 99 achievement. We ended up with 73 million GP on the bank. We will use it on prayer, it's more than enough. And we still have runecraft, prayer, defense and attack, but they are 98, so I will train it with slayer. And yeah, that's it. I'm really motivated to continue the series, but I don't always have the time to record or edit the videos. Sorry about that, guys. I will continue to give you guys content whenever I can, I promise. Till then, the grind must continue. So basically I started this grind with approximately 10 million on the bank in runes and I want to see how much money I can get till 99 rune crafting so it will be really interesting to see how much money I can get. The last time we were here the stats looked like this. So yep, one year ago. Time really flies. Today we're coming back to this big grind at Guardians of the Rift and I still want a couple of tanks from here. I still want the Abyssal Lantern because if you light it with redwood logs, it prevents the rune pouches from degrading, which is really really useful on this minigame. I also want to get the Mysterious Bag because I think it looks really cool. And I'm planning to get the Ring of the Elements because that ring teleports you to elemental altars and if I want to make lavas at some point, I have to get it. 
so yeah basically that's all we want for today so with no further ado let's get started so let's start with some reward claiming we have 19 let's see what we get Okay, let's see if we can get lucky this time. Ah, okay, nothing special. Ooh, a clue. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Another one to the bank. I'm planning to make a video opening them all. I'm gathering all the strength to not open them. I have to be patient. And there's the first level of the episode, level 91. And there's 350 games made here. A little cool milestone. I think I'm gonna open all of these right now. I'm not going to, to wait for 150, so let's open this. 144 rewards. Let's see if you can get lucky, guys. Ooh, blue dye, bro. <laughs> nice. From all of them, I like this one the most, so... I'm happy with this one, yeah. I like this one because it's really similar to the magic icon, so... For me, it's the coolest one. And there it is. Awesome. Now just, let's open the, the pouches. Yo! <laughs> nice. The lost bag, bro. It's the... The mysterious bag, right? I thought it was called the mysterious bag. I don't know why, but this was the one we wanted. I think it looks really, really cool. Let's continue to open the rewards, shall we? Yep, still no lantern. But we're getting a lot of pearls, so that's nice. Yo, coming in level 92, halfway to our goal. Okay, another 50 games played, 175 rewards to collect. We have here Tropa to give us luck. Uh, let's see what we get. Can we get the lantern this time? Let's see. No luck at all. Wow. <laughs> a clue and a shield left off on the same pouch. Yep, that's what I wanted. Well, at least we got all the pearls for this beautiful ring. Nice. Let's charge it. And it's charged. Now we can teleport to every elemental altar, which is nice. Yo, and look at Tropa's drip. It got another red eye. <laughs> yeah, boy. Shall we return to the pink dreadlocks? <laughs> this one's look way way better bro nah i'm sticking with the fremnik style there's something about this viking look i really like okay there's 420 games played i just want to stop for a bit and finish desert treasure 2 because for what i've seen the quest looks incredible especially the bosses so here it is the desert treasure 2 the fallen empire i have to finish this one first but it's just a barrel's run so it's really easy let's just open this 60 rewards first well nothing good i'm not surprised at all and there's the collection log. No lantern, unfortunately, but I think it's good overall. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's take care of business.
through the fire engine. Well, finally, after three bosses defeated, we've reached the last boss in a quest. And not gonna lie, this one was tough for me. The Whisperer. Well, I got completely wrecked attempt after attempt. I even sometimes reach 0% sanity, which will kill me after a couple of seconds. I started to understand some boss mechanics thanks to my brother Amplify, who helped me throughout the fights. And I even got the boss to 10 HP once, but managed to die somehow. No! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like even if you told me the exact moment which period I should use, I still managed to fail every single one of them. And finally, this is how the final fight went. Friends, mates, friends, no way, no way I'm dying, mm, friends, oh, you got it, no nice. way, <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. thank you bro, I'm good, bro. I'm good, and with that, we have done it. All the main bosses defeated. After that, we defeated the mysterious figure, which was a really cool addition to the quest. <gasps> and finally, the last room. These guys look like Barrow's brothers on steroids, but we managed to defeat them. Overall, I think it was an amazing quest. The Jagex team did pretty good on this one. And we even got 300k prayer experience and got a level out of that. Amazing. And at the end of the quest, you get the Ring of Shadows as a reward. This ring can teleport you to the four quest bosses. If you die and lose it fighting one of these bosses, you have to walk all the way to the boss again. But you can dupe this ring, which is a huge quality of life. You can start by picking a full inventory of these keys at the Witch's House quest entrance with only the ring on you. Then go to this manhole right here and die to the rats. But don't be like me and please get your HP to 1 first. Thank you. When you die to the rats here, you'll spawn in Lumbridge. Then drop all the keys, get 75k from the bank and go to the desert to buy another ring. Buy the ring from this mysterious bandit. And then when you have it, teleport to Lumbridge. And pick up the other ring. And there you have it. Two rings for teleports. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode as I enjoyed making it. We're almost at 1000 subscribers, so please, if you like the video, give a thumbs up and sub to the channel. It will mean the world to me. I've decided to try Lava Runes for the first time. I never did it before and I must say it was good experience per hour. I was getting around 80 to 85k, so it was pretty good. And there it is, level 93. The downside of this method was, it was very click intensive, so after a couple of hours I was kinda tired of it. Overall it was a good method, but it was time to find another way to 99. After thinking for a while, and with some help from my friend Amplify, I've decided to try ZMI. My bank value in runes started at 14.2 million, let's see how much money we make till 99 here. 
This is pretty FK, you know. I like it. And the XP is good too here, so I'm getting 83k. But if I focus, I can get 100 plus k experience. Supposedly, this is a 100k or more experience spot, so I hope I'll get better and get those rates. Look at this. This is a lot of experience for a trip. That's amazing. And I did know this spell, Vile Vigor. With this spell, I can get my run energy back from draining my prayer. Then I pray at the altar again to fill it up. Pretty cool spell in my opinion. It provides me with no greater joy than to see my family back together as one. I'd like to thank you all for being part of this spectacular evening. Cheers. Cheers. And there it is, my brothers, 94 rune crafting. Let's go, let's go. I'm kind of liking this, this method. This is pretty AFK, so I like AFK methods. So this one is, is actually pretty good. We're running out of Dild Essence, 12,000 to go. I don't want to mine them for now, so I think I will use Normal Essence. I know it's not very wise, but I'm not in the mood to, to mine Dild Essence for now. I think when they run out, I will do this with normal ones, yeah. There it is, coming in level 95, runecrafting, beautiful. Huge shout out to Amplify here, getting 99 runecrafting, from 96 to 99 in only 2 days. GZ brother, what a beast. A little fast forward here and we have level 96, and right after level 97, but not gonna lie, this took a while. I think training with normal essence here, it's not a very good idea. I have to get back and mine the essence for the 50% more experience. It's much, much better. GZ is to brother Amplify getting his max level, finally. It was an honor being present, man. What a fucking legend. And there is 50k Deldescent shards. I think I already have enough to get 99 runecrafting. Yup, I already have 100k. According to this calculator, we need 99.9k Deldescent to finish up this big, big grind. And with approximately 20 hours to go. Finishing up this gaming session with 840k experience made today, really really good. I'm getting better at this, almost 100k experience per hour. Well never mind, I made 1 million today on this gaming session, really really nice. And there it is, level 98, runecrafting, 1 level to go to achieve our goal. Ah, we're so close man, 1 final stretch, let's get it. This is it boys. Level 99, coming in, 99 in, 3, 2, 1. Woohoo, level 99 brothers. <laughs> let's go, let's go. What a huge level, man. I'm so happy, bro. <laughs> this is like a dream come true. Oh my god. This was kind of hard, not gonna lie, but... It was totally worth it. Huge, man. Well, we started with 14.2 million and ended up with 60 million in runes, making a total profit of approximately 46 million. Not bad at all. I'm very, very happy with the outcome. Well, 99 rune crafting is finally over. Now I'm planning to get 99 prayer and there's no other way to get it than in the wilderness altar. So stick around and let's get it. Okay, let's start by selling all the runes that we got from 99 runecrafting. Okay, 46 million in total. I wanna buy a Din's Bulwark. What the f***, it's pricey. Black Dehyde Body. Black Dehyde Chaps. Now I'm a lot more tanky. Pretty good defense stats. So, from 91 to 99, I'll need 6,622, so I'll buy 7k of them. Almost 49 million to get 99. And before we step foot into the wilderness, there's a couple of things we need to set up on our rune light. First of all, player indicator is enabled. Next up, switch the left click on the bones to use and not bury. This way I can click on the bone freely and not bury it by accident. And the last thing is turn off my private so I can be tracked and basically that's it. Okay, we have all the bones, all the burning amulets needed. Let's start the grind. 
Coast is clear. Forward area clear. Huh? Okay, no one's here. Nice. Behold the best clicks you'll witness in your life. This is not efficient at all. Okay, first backpack and we didn't get PK. Nice. I'm exiting to the south side. I don't know if there's a better way like suicide or something else. But I'm doing this way. I don't know if I'm continuing to risk this many bones. I know there aren't there are not that many, but I think I'll do trip by trip. I know it's like 300k, but I don't want to risk that much. 150k already. We're making 700k experience per hour already. That's awesome. So I have an obelisk on my POH, but I don't know. I don't know how to use it. I don't know, guys. I teleported to 44 wilderness, but it seems like I can't go where I want to. I really don't know how to use them properly, so I will stick with uh, burning amulets. Yeah. If you have some advice to me on how to use them, boys, please let me know in the comments. Yes, sir. First level of the episode, level 92. Beautiful. Ooh. <sighs> okay, okay. I had no bones, I'm not even mad. Is this guy a scout? Maybe, maybe not. A lot of activity here. Ooh, nope. NANI? Uh, well, I think I, I can outlast this guy. Let's go. This was dumb. There's a PK there, but I'm so close to 93, bro. Let's go. Level 93. Beautiful. You came late, bro. I have no more bones for you. See ya, bro. Bro, it's 6 p.m. There are PKers everywhere. Oh my god. No. No, bro. Come on. Okay, fair enough. I lost what? Like, yeah, 60k. No problem. Once again, a lot of activity here. Thank you for telly. Level 94. Yo, and also got 125 combat level. Nice. Yo, I'm staying on this world, bro. Look at this guy. It looks like he has a lot of bones. He has a lot of bones, bro. Yep, the guy hopped, I hopped, we all safe, man. Yo, 2 million experience today, man. This is huge, man. I love this method. This is like the greatest method, bro. I love it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, level 95, four levels to go. Chunk Wild. No, I'm no scout. Really cool account name. Actually, it's a really good idea for a series. Just for myself to keep it a bit fun. Okay, I respect that. Okay, man. Cheers, bro. Be safe. Level 96. Three levels to go, man. And RuneScape 3. This fucking dog shit. We have company. Ooh. Okay. No! And that was actually pretty fast. Thank you for taxi. <laughs> hey, no problem, bro. Level 97 coming in. 
level 98 and we still have 1154 bones left we are so close to our goal oh there's a guy there no 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 bro <laughs> oh no bro that was so slow <sighs> finally i just want to get this 99 and get out of here as fast as i can there it is 99 prayer at the wilderness altar that's huge i really love this spot anyone that wants to get 99 prayer please come here bro this is the best spot to get it for sure well still need one attack level and one defense level to get maxed combat stats but yeah, I'm very, very happy. We are just prayer 99. I really enjoyed training prayer here. It was so fast. And yeah, as I said, we have one attack level, one defense level, and four slayer levels to max this account. I'm so excited, man. Yo, 400 bones left. A really round number. From here, I need 100k. And, and let's get that cape. I love this cape, man. Well, let's see if we lose money selling the bulwark. Yo, actually, I think we, we've made money. Yeah, we made... We made, yeah, 400k. Nice. Well, six levels to go. We are so close. I just want to see that cape on my back. A little more than a year ago, I set a goal for myself. Maxing my main account that I have since 2015. It was a bumpy year with a lot of good memories <laughs> and with a lot of tough grinds. But finally, we're ready for the last stretch. I have a lot of good surprises in this video, a lot of good RNG, so stick around till the end. And if you're not subscribed, we are almost at 1k subscribers. So if you like the content, please feel free to join the channel. Well boys, we're finally entering on the last grind of the account, which is Slayer, and not gonna lie, I was feeling a little rusty returning to Hydra, but I got instantly motivated because we got the Hydra ladder, and it's 10 million right now. We also previously got the Jar of Chemicals, which I put on my POH. Still need this Cotizo and the Nightmare Jar to finish this up, pretty nice. And that's the task completed. 169 KC. I don't know why I have 169. I killed 170. I think it was because I teleported right after I killed her. I panic teleported. I think that 1 KC didn't count. But yeah, let's get another task. Okay, Cave Kraken. I only do this task for the chance of getting the pets. So yeah, let's do it, boys. And real quick, look at this. 21 million made on Hydra. I think I will put all the Slayer loot till 99 here. I'll be tracking everything. Okay, no sign of the pet, but there's 42k experience. I find Kraken tasks enjoyable. They are really AFK and they are really profitable also. Yo, look at this task. I never did normal duke before. I only did the Desert Treasure 2 version. Let's try it. I didn't have any problem on the quest version, so I think this one will be easy also. Well, <laughs> eventually I got it right. It's not a hard boss at all. And for the second KC, I got the Frozen Tablet, which is amazing for teleports here. You just have to use it on your Ring of Shadows, which you get on the Desert Treasure 2. And we have a teleport directly to the Duke Cecilus. Look at this. It saves so much time. Well, the RNG gods really blessed me on this task because we got the Verdus Rope Top. A really amazing drop to see. My bro really gave us luck on this one. Looks pretty cool. Just got 65 million richer. The other letter just went down 1 million, so I will sell it right now. And that's 74 million. And that's the last do kill. Only 20k experience, but it was pretty chill. I really enjoyed this task. You never know, maybe it's an imbued heart. Nope. Okay. Nope. 
No way. No way. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, no way. Oh my god, bro. Lucky, lucky, lucky. That's so lucky, man. Well, that's like a dream come true, man. I really wanted this pet for so long. Look at him, bro. <laughs> Are you hungry? Kika. Okay. What the fuck? Well, boys, that's level 96. Three levels to go. Hey, level 99 defense. And level 99 attack. We're finally 126 combat level. Maxed combat stats, boys. Beautiful. Look at my new cape, bro. And there's another one for the collection. I like this one. Yup, still doing the jad tasks, although I already have the pet. But yeah, it's still good experience. I still can't believe we got the pets. I will never forget that, man. That was awesome. There's the giant mode task completed, but look at this, bro. One second kill. <laughs> this must be a bug, bro. This is possible. I don't have any idea how this is possible, but if you guys know, please let me know in the comments below. Another burst task, another 53k experience. I love doing burst tasks, bro. It's so good experience, and they are really fast also. There it is, another jet task, and a combat task, apparently. Let's see here. Complete the fight caves without letting any of the... <laughs> heal. Bro, this pronunciation is terrible. I think those are the melee guys, yeah. And look at these tasks right here. Complete the fight caves in less than 26 minutes and 30 seconds. And this one, complete the fight caves without losing any prayer points. Bro, those ones are so hard, man. I hope one day I can do them. Another Kraken task and no sign of the pet. And that's level 97. Two levels to go to get our max cave. And look at this, 2275 total level. Looks pretty good. Oh, nice, Dagonauts. This is great because Tropa is doing the same task, so I think I will join him and we'll do some Dagonaut Kings. Like the old times, man. Me and my bro going for Dagonaut Kings. Life is good, man. I remember a couple of years ago, me and Tropa started coming here and we constantly died because of Prime and Supreme attacking us at the same time. We were just a couple of noobs at the time, having some fun. Now we know what we're doing here, but it was very fun, the learning process. And yet, those memories are what RuneScape is all about. Hey, look at that. First drop, Berserker Ring. And shortly after, we dropped an Archer's Ring. GZ, GZ, GZ. <laughs> and that's the end of the task. Drop ahead to go, but I finished it. Not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun with this task. And this was my 600 task in a row. We got 375 points out of this one. And yeah, now we just need a pet to green lock this. And it's a 1 in 5,000 drop rate. So as you can see, it's not going to be in the near future. Oh, that's a whip. I don't know why the drop lights are not turned on. The, the item drop lights. I don't know what I did, bro, but they are not turned on. Okay, now it's better. Bro, it makes such a difference. I love to see this. Yo, there's another one. I dropped like five of them already. Just a quick casket and you know where this is going. Yup, this is going to the bank. I already have an interesting stack here. And I'll open all of this in a separate episode. So stay tuned. Oh, there it is. Level 98 Slayer. One level to go for the big, big level. I'm super excited, boys. We are so close. Only 1 million and 200k remaining. Bro, I never got that many tiers. 223. That's a lot, I think. And we got 14, almost 15k experience. Nice. Well, for the last level, I focused a lot on burst tasks and all the quick tasks I could to finish it quickly. I also didn't have a lot of time during the day because of work, so I played a lot on mobile. And on the contrary of what I expected, Mobile Slayer is not that bad and actually is pretty chill and I enjoyed it. And so, after a week of grind, I was finally ready, I saved up a genie lamp and went to Berthorpe. Well, after a year with a lot of good memories, and there it is, 99 crafting. It's done! 
and not gonna lie it was very very chill let's get the cape after 150 hours i think level 99 fishing level 99 brothers i swear to god bro moments like this are one of the best things this game can give you it's finally over three two one There it is, guys. Max level on the main account. Ah, bro, it's finally over. <laughs> oh my god, what an amazing feeling. It's finally over, boys. Let's get that cape. Give me my cape, sir. What do you have in a sec? Can I have it? Every money in the world, man. I just want my cape. Yes, sir. Oh my god, bro. I love it. I also want to get some combinations of capes and I have one favorite it's this one right here with the Ardogan one bro I think it looks amazing I know I know I have to get the Infernal Max cape but one thing at a time hey we also got this one with the Ava's assembler I think it looks cool also ah, I can't believe it's finally over and we got 61 million in this Slayer bank tab we have to sell everything and see how much money we really get. Okay, already have 59 million. I think I have, yep, these two brimstone keys. Okay, and we have 60 million in total from 95 to 99. But if we count with the Hydra letter and the Verdas road top that we dropped, we ended up with 134 million total. This will be a lot more if I just killed bosses, but I wanted it to be fast and yeah. Still have this clue and all these caskets to open, but I will leave this for another video. And one last thing. Let's see how many hours I spent maxing my account. Obviously, this was my first account, so it's my main. I did everything here. I learned everything I know on this game here. So, in total, we have 270 days and 19 hours, which means I maxed my account in 6,499 hours. That's too much, man. <laughs> too much time played. Let's take a look on the high scores. Okay, we are the 39,028th person to get a max account. So for all these people, we need to touch some grass. <laughs> There's still a ton of contents to explore and finally I'm free to adventure myself into all of it. My plan from now on is to try and master all raids, focus on upgrading my gear and becoming rich. Also, one of my big goals is to get the pinnacle item in RuneScape, the Infernal Maxcape. And for that, I have a very tough opponent ahead. <laughs> well, hope you guys enjoyed the series as I enjoy making it. This was a passion project of mine and I'm happy you guys make part of it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.